Hey there, Flair, did you sprinkle some magic on the stream with the secret word? A fun question of the day, mm -hmm. and all the stream-related jazz? Time to yes. rock this show. Yes, I did. Let's get the game going. Let's get the stuff going. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, I gotta do this. I keep forgetting. Um. Current scene. Can I just do... Can I just refresh? But Spock, Peeft, who needs that inferior bot when you've got me, the snarky, sarcastic, and oh-so-lovable P-Bot by your side? Alright. Um, my mic seems to have been janked up by my PC again. Death to Butt Spot. He probably underscore 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 Drew. Take there we go. Data. No need to Hulk smash everything in sight. <laughs> all, probably all they need to do is make it Hulk so that people have to mod butt spot and it would work again. I, that developer just doesn't want to do it. That's all. Let's keep it they just don't want to. Butt spot needs some love too, even if it's not as fabulous as yours truly. This is the new voice. You uh, hopefully they'll pass it off to someone else because the community is like. Come on, man. Just do the thing. <laughs> Way to slide into the stream like a pro. Probably underscore Drew. You win the first chat award today. First place medal. <laughs> Got it, Flair. I'll keep the chat entertained while we wait for the ads to finish. Let the show go on. <laughs> Alright, um... Well, almost three minutes and no first chatter. Y'all slack it. Right. Looks like the spotlight is yours. Probably underscore Drew. Enjoy the moment while it lasts. Reigning supreme is the first chat king. I'm about to take it with high pipe. Go ahead, Drew. I need to add like a, a reward to first chatter, the way that like Rev did. <clears throat> Um, there was something I was going to do. Oh, yeah. I'm going to set a per stream ta tally for, eh, whatever. I was thinking about setting a per stream tally for sit-ups and push-ups, but I can just do math. get right into the game. Where is it? My VOD from last night got muted a little bit. Part of my VOD got muted because of in-game music. One of the um, 
one of the like guitar hero type sections got muted. Interesting. Twas, twas interesting. What That's up? 89 times now. Links. Let's go check it. Captain up, Cats Captain? 42 just resubscribed Thank with you, Teresa. one for a total of 20 I months. I hate my Where alerts. I need to I need to build new alerts. Flair, it's your time to shine. Show him what you've got, buddy. I mean, I like the, uh... I like the, uh, Biodome clip, but I need to, I need to make my alerts fit in the little window down there. I'm trying to do everything I can to not cover up the gameplay window. Speaking of which, where's the fucking game? There we go. Right. Let's get the old controller out. I may need to actually restart it. Game doesn't like to pick up the controller. If you don't launch the game with the controller already connected, it don't lo it don't detect the controller. Greetings, Revenant I left it on Welcome all night, yeah. Hope you enjoy your time. Accidentally. So now I have no idea how long I actually played, because it says 13 hours, but that's not true. <laughs> I don't appreciate when game games have don't pause the playtime count. It's just Steam though. The game was open. So in Steam it said I played for 13 hours, but it was only like five but it is very good i uh i took a look at the achievements and i'm like i'm only gonna earn like maybe two or three achievements in this playthrough unless i like really grind them it's like one of those one of those games where you have to play like five six times through if you want to get all the achievements and i do enjoy the game but i will not be doing that on stream I think if I, what up, Nutmeg? I think if I push, I can finish this game tonight. Greetings, Nutmeg Roll. Ready for some quirky banter with the coolest bot in town? What up? Hey, Kujo McFly. Nice to virtually meet you. Hope you're having a rad time here. Kujo McFly gives Flair a high five. Harvest play tonight. Times now. pickaxe. All right. Happy Halloween, dude. Get spooked or something. Get spooked. Hi. Hi. There is an achievement for beating... There's two different achievements for beating Demon Tower. That may be like a whole stream sometime, just playing Demon Tower. But I may do... Like, I think I can beat this in t tonight. And I may... After I return from Hunt, I may do a second playthrough... But I don't know. We'll see. The economy is in shambles. What a birdie. Hey, trash bird. Oh, did, uh, did dad clean out the crawl space yet? I think there's a safe in there. Yeah. Ahoy, Captain Cats 42. Welcome aboard the good ship chat, where the memes are plenty. It's an old Nutmeg tooth. Roll gives Flair a high five. That's nine times now. Wait, you don't think so, Drew? I'm like halfway through the chapters. Do they get longer? Oh, it's uh, I just didn't turn it on for the stream. Unless you play for another 10 hours. Nah, I, how long to beat had it for? I mean, completionist is one thing, but just to get through the story, how long to beat had it at like nine hours? Yeah.
Whoa, decorations. Girl, you can't mess around on Halloween. Jeez. Wanna hear a new poem? Yes. Bats and moon against the gloom. The night is black. I made a snack. Cool. Gang has to work at 3 a.m. I'm microwave. I'm going to be staying pizza, I'd say. He wakes up so he can try to get some cold. solid sleep. Pins. His breakfast gold. Oh wait, you might be right. I forgot the stream didn't end when nice. I fell asleep. It really happened. This Big Halloween fan. Voice you have rolled. Me too, obviously. You want a heart fest? Nah, stay in here for trick or treaters. You are a saint. Heart fest is dumb. Really, I love it. I mean, are you eight years old? No. All right. This guy does not like me coming up on his porch, so I do it every time. I know there's someone I can, like, look at the stars with, and I haven't done any of that. There's, like, a whole... There's probably an achievement for that dude, but I just never even go talk to that guy. I think it took me about 12 hours, and I was doing a lot of side chats, and what it's not a super long game. Yeah. What was the last big thing that happened, Flair? Um... I don't know, but I love this ball. Um... I don't remember. Uh, I beat I up the car. The uh, we built the. Um, want to get back into it. Bridge file remembers. I can't I steal a pretzel. Don't I don't know why I can't steal a pretzel. Fair enough, I. Beat one of the dream things. I beat like three of the dream sequences. <laughs> um, the last hey like the daytime thing Welcome was. Hope you're ready for some fun. I've been going back and forth between hanging with B and hanging with Greg. So the last time, I think the last thing was hanging with Greg, and I built the like big dummy like the big robot wait it might have been four you built the robot oh shit okay then you might be further in the game than i thought you were yeah i'm at front i took a glance at like a table of contents and i think i'm like better than halfway through this is the new voice you have rolled Happy Halloween! You feeling spooky? Oh, extremely, can't you tell? Do your spooky face. <laughs> I love Angus. Oh. Nice effort, though. L-M-A-O. Angus is the shit. This is the new voice you have but Yeah, this game is just wonderful. I... I probably... I think, I think I might, like, the next weekend... Like next week, Friday, Friday, then, um, Friday, Sunday, Monday, and then the next Friday is all going to be hunt because drops. But then after that, the fault that following Sunday and Monday, it may just do a second playthrough, but we'll see. Drew, you can add FRM after the TTSRE roll if you want to specify. Yeah. That's classified info, but let's just say Rev's Bart game is strong enough to clear a room. Perhaps it's the culmination of years of dedication and practice, or maybe it's just his unique charm. OSHA thanks for letting me know, Nutmeg. Yeah, we I added can. that a couple, couple streams ago. This is the new voice you have rolled. Also, hi, Drew. Try not to have a thing. Okay, yep. See ya. Later. Hey, Nutmeg. Market house. No? No fucking way. Hey, shapeshifters. Take a chill pill and embrace your inner zen state, yeah? You did that. Greetings, changelings. Ready to shapeshift and embrace your versatile personas today? Let's stir some mischief. <laughs> you king. There, Kujo McFly <laughs> oh, shit. wants you to do some push-ups. No. <laughs> I will. I will in a little bit. Flair, Kujo McFly wants you to do some squats. It's starting. This is the new voice you have rolled. Coffee. Cigarette. Coffee. Cigarette. 
What are you... What's going on here? Hey, Aunt Mall Cop. Mall Cops don't carry guns, man. Jeez. I guess you don't need that gun for... What are you doing? What's Blocking starting? off the road. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't want to do that again. The push-ups and squats. This is the new Y'all made me do, like, road. 80 squats yesterday. Flair, Nutmeg Roll wants you to do some squats. Get fit, scrub. Flair, you should Nutmeg carry Roll wants you to do some That would be impressive. I'll look into it. Ferris wheel no looks like way. a nightmare. I loved Brian. What have I done? Yeah, no, no, you got the guy that sounds like he works in a Lego store. Sorry, Lings. This is the new voice you have rolled. It's 1984. Maybe that's a clue. We should retire it. Shut up, Andrew. Okay, everyone, let's just take a step back here and cool down. We are going to have the hit record at Harfest tonight. That's a nice one, Cujo. Bring it, Colleen. They're all mad at each other. I don't think I've ever actually been to the church. There we go. Yeah, it's a smooth voice. Hey, I think my mom, mom works here. Nothing. There she is. Hey, mom. Mm hmm. Um. I love stained glass windows. Yeah. My mom used to do stained glass. I miss. I miss when she did. I have an uncle who repairs them as one of his jobs. She was really good at it, and that it was just one of those hobbies that passed. Why you decided to That's abandon all bad. the plans we made it's as so a family? It's so cool, and I feel like not many people do it now. Yeah. Check out Flair's sick YouTube channel. It's not a cheap hobby, but secrets and tips. she wasn't selling it. She was just making it for friends and family and stuff. Like everybody in our family has like some gorgeous piece that she made, except me. But I'll inherit one or or five eventually. Might as well have taken all that effort and money and worry and dumped it in a hole. That's rough. Are you like having one of your mood swings again? Ugh, I'm like the moody one in our house. You are the moody one in our house. Oh man, that's relatable. My grandma did cross stitch and she had a stroke before she made me anything My mom also did cross stitch adult. for a long time. That was one of her hobbies. I'm the same way. I, I dive really, really deep into a hobby and then I just abandon it completely. Streaming, well, is the, thanks, streaming is the first one that has lasted several years in a long time. What's happening to the house? I think it just isn't where we should be. Mom, this isn't funny. You know what? F off. Oh, I'm sorry, Nutmeg. I dabbled in CrossFit for cross in, in cross stitch for a while. I also dabbled in CrossFit for a while, honestly. But I did cross stitch when I was younger. It's like pixel art. It's great. My wife has a really, really funny cross stitch on the fridge. It's um, it's a cross stitch. Ph. It's all right. I have a few things she made me when I was a kid that I'll never get rid of. That's awesome. It's that's a cross. Awesome. It's just one of those ones that's just still kind of in the the tight frame. It's not like actually framed or mounted. It's just, but it's um, it's a monochrome picture of Ryan Gosling. It just says, "Hey, girl." Incredible. <laughs> it's really great. I want to do one of Nicolas Cage that also says, hey, girl. <laughs> one of my college roommates made one that said, please don't do coke in the bathroom. 
one of my friends has one that says if the if the duty is cray please use the spray duty means poop it does <laughs> that's a rough talk with mom there all right so what's back here me 1209 gives flair a high five what that's eight times now hold on i gotta cash in here we were a group of music nerds <laughs> So there really was not a reason for the sign, but we all thought it was hilarious. Amy, how is it going? <sighs> Why are you doing push-ups? Hey there, Amy1209. Hope you're having a fantabulous day filled with rainbows and unicorns. Om. I understand the mom's frustration, but that's rough. We redeemed them, Emmy. Ooh. I'm gonna die. I just showed up. Excuse me. <sighs> okay. Emmy, we torture him. He is yeah, in no, debt to all no, of us, but he is unable to pay off. So he does push-ups for our enjoyment. You're not gonna die. You'll be fine. <sighs> yeah, my Wi-Fi right. just got back, but power flickering at Kudo fly. I like looking out the window and seeing PP on boats. That's crazy. Alright, where's Bruce? Is this Bruce? Flair, ME1209 wants you to do some push ups. So I had it on like a super long cooldown. And instead, I made the cooldown really short and then made the little icons down there to tally how many I owe so that when I'm ready, I can, I can do more. But y'all made me do so many yesterday that I'm like fucking burnt out already. Because I'm out of shape. But this will help. I was wanting to climb the water tower. Then that one kid Good died thing doing you're it. you're not streaming again till Friday then, huh? Right. What's over here? Huh. Actually, I walk like 15 minutes from my house. Walker, from far from home. We will tell of your future. But first, be truthful. Tell us. Which of these have you seen? A shipwreck? A ghost on a hill? An arrow broken? Uh, the ghost. False. Okay. Have fun. Fun is all we have. Do you like practice that talking in turn thing? I'm telling my buddies to show up. <laughs> You're not gonna narc us out to the pastor, right? For being out here? Nah. Cool, thanks. To make you work. Three weird teens I met. Did we just become best friends? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Excellent. brother. A new friend joins us. Chat grows. Thank you for the follow. The stream. Together we shine. Well, the nice thing is I can let him queue up. And I don't 
actually have to do them. <laughs> Blair, what up, Slayer? RRRRR wants you to do some squats. <laughs> How's it going? Raffle. It starts. I'll do them in a minute. Let's go up here. Whee! The army is here. You gotta do them, Flare. Oh, I will. Get to a breaking point here. I'm trying to get up on the rooftops. Here we go. Ooh, I can go in this one. Alright, Hey, probably underscore, 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 Drew. How about taking a chill pill and enjoying the moment, huh? Flair, a Rosierin wants you to do some squats. Look at him go. Okay. <laughs> if it weren't for my knees, I could do push-ups. Do squats almost endlessly. My poor little heart, though. The push-ups will, push-ups will be the ones where I'm like, can't, can't do more right now. <laughs> and I did, uh, yeah, I can't even do one pull-up. What is? Am I breaking into someone's house? All right. Now do pull-ups. Rosa and Slayer just wanted you to do squats. <laughs> okay. That's good. I like squats. That's why the squat one is 10 and not 5. Pull-ups are like unfairly difficult. Yeah. I mean, it's just like anything. You train them, train them enough, you can get to the point. I used to be able to do like 20. But... Can't even do one right now. Oh my god, Mallard! What have they Arrow done to you? They're really good at squats with their form. I don't think I've ever done a single successful <laughs> pull-up. I I'm was also not small, so that makes it harder. I have the state record in New Mexico for my weight class and age in Olympic lifts. So I can go deep. It's been about five years. Whoa. I have the th I have all three records. I have the <laughs> snatch, Amazing. clean and jerk, and total records for. I bet your wife likes that. The ninety six. Please follow for fun. Ninety six kilo weight, cra weight class. Feel free to join Flair's fabulous fandom. It's a master's record though, because I'm old. I'm actually in, in a new age bracket now, so there's probably new new records. But I haven't lifted in forever. It's been five years. There's mice. Don't die. Hmm. There's clearly something that can be done in this room. What it is, who's to say? Can't get out there. Oh, another way, nope. Um, yeah, I stopped training 
and lifting competitively because it was just it took up too much time. I was training 12 hours a week when I was competing and I just don't have that kind of time. And so I stream 12 hours a week instead. <laughs> <laughs> or more. It's different though, okay. Oh, uh, no, I need to go the other way. Well, that was one thing I could do up there. I know there's other stuff I can do up on the power lines, but... I'm just exploring kind of generally here. There's something else up here for sure. What up, Game Master? They were streaming Dark Souls remastered. Oh shit! I psyched myself out. What's up? Thanks for the raid. Let's see. Gotta go. Jump, jump. I'm never gonna be a chunk again. You guys are gonna call me the chunk mess oh. after this. That was stupid. the unfortunate thing. That was really dumb. <laughs> Nobody should watch me anymore. I think I've. Giving up my ability to stream online. Here's a man who loves statues. Just called myself a lot of the people chunk statues master. statues themselves these days. We're securing ourselves, okay? We don't need statues to make us feel better. Uh, I'm not proud of that. Nope. Okay. Fine. Snack Falcon. Let's talk to Greg. See if we can get him to do his arm thing. How's it going, Daymaster? Welcome in, y'all. Hey, man. How's things? Good Harfest. Hi, Flair. Hey, Daymaster One. Here? Hope you're having a fantastic time here with us. Keep shining oh, bright. I done got horrored. Getting horrored at work is the worst. When I had that job one time, I worked the longest night rush. You know, you've never mentioned having a job. That's a story for another time. It's been time. going well, Tilda. Great. What were you playing today? Do, do, do Dark Souls Remastered. All right. Noise. Whoops. Uh, sweating on my desk. Did we just become best friends? A new yeah. friend joins in. Thank Together, you for the we'll conquer all. Cheers to our journey. I was worried I have to smash these light bulbs all by myself. So what's up? I'm very interested in this light bulb smashing. Oh, hello there. What's Dark up? Souls was good. Killed two bosses, one Yashka. difficult, one really hard. Later. Um, I forget who I hung out with last. I don't remember if it was him or it was B. I think it was him. So I'm gonna hang out with B. Uh, I don't know. I forgot to transfer my Steam Authenticator when I got my new phone. Oh no. That might be problematic. Do do we anything over here? I don't think I could go this way last time. Hang out with Germ. Hey me. Yes, it's proving to be very problematic. I am scams. Because I can't accept this scams? game for some That's reason. Jenna. Hi. Hi. I'm Bildon. And I'm Germ. I'm May. I completely forgot what I was going to say. Hey, Germ, you coming to Harfest? Eh, maybe. Are you guys coming? Yeah, we might have over. Check out the party. I mean, y'all got ghosts here for real, right? Yeah. What? Little Joe, you know? Yeah, man. Local legend. My man, Tapeworm. Out in Bright Harbor, he told me he never got up in this town because of the ghost. That's a little crap. 
He sneaks into rail yards and snatches up the good and the pure. Well, you kids got nothing to fear then. Damn it, old timer, we're pure as the air. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess I'll see some of you there. Nice to meet you. Same little lady. See you, germ. You're a real weird germ. Whee! Can't go this way? Alright. Stir up these leaves a little bit. Whee! Yeah, okay. You're a weird guy, germ. Nothing? Nothing, 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 nothing. Okay. Nothing at the click clack. Nothing at this abandoned house. Alright, let's talk, talk breaking light bulbs with this guy. I'm back. So, what's up? Uh, I'm very interested in this light bulb smashing. Hell yeah, dude. Nice. Ah. Boom! <laughs> Ow! Dick. <laughs> he just fucking winged the can at me. Ugh. Hey there, Doom Daniel. What's up, Doom? Hope you're ready for some chaotic fun today. The math. I did the math on how much these things cost. I'm happy to be here. What's up, Doom? Throw another can. I'm ready. Sixty-seven cents. Oh. <laughs> I took that one in the dome. Hi, you Doom. <laughs> we. So what's up? Nothing. All right. Is there anything I can do back here? No. <sighs> Alright, let's go find B. We got ice cream we earlier. We got ice cream earlier. It Man, was so good sounds, and I want more. That sounds wonderful. You guys got something to say? Something about sports? No, I gotta watch the game. Is there a game tonight? Well, no, but I'm gonna watch my favorite highlights. Why don't you come out? It might be good. Stretch your legs. See the parade. Ever seen the game live? Nah, never. Come on out to Harfest. You never know. Yeah, all right. Not much is up. Relaxing, drinking a peach spritzer, and thirst trapping on Instagram. You know. Yeah. Casual night. <laughs> right on. <laughs> I'm drinking a peach monster. It's kind of like that. Party barn. Peach pals. Peach is such a good flavor. I have peach a peach tree. An underrated flavor, yummy. And they're good peaches. Won't be another. Be, still be another month before they're ready. Where's B? What the fuck? Okay, let's go. Let's go up. Double, I need to double jump that one. Flirt. Flirt. Try that again. Uh, this, 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 this. Okay. Jump, jump, jump. Nope. Oh, I can get up here. Jump, jump, jump. Nope. Hmm. A spritzer is a refreshing drink made by mixing wine or soda with carbonated water, often served over ice. It's a perfect option for those looking for a light and bubbly beverage to enjoy on a warm day or as a casual evening treat. 
Join Flair's Discord, a place Dang quite it, sublime. It up. Click the link to have a grand old time. Oops. I don't know if I can actually get up there. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> trying to give myself the uh, all the distance I can to see if I can triple jump to the next roof, but I don't believe I have the distance. One, two, three. Oh yeah. Years ago, when I thought I was 20, I'd never yeah. be able to climb this high up anymore. Shows you what I, you know, little May. There's a kitty. A new soul joins us. Welcome with open embrace. Community grows strong. Flair, slay your R R R R R R wants you to do some push-ups. Slushy, no. okay. squishy, floppy jiggles. Bah. Bah. Right. Thank you. Can I wake up this cat? Flare, check it. Wind just resubscribed. That touched that dog. For a total of 17 months. Cowabunga. All right, hold on. Well, hello there, slay your R R R R R R. Welcome to the chat, where the party never stops. I love that player underscore bomb what says my name right. Or you beat me, Emmy. Hey there, Wind. Hope you're having a fantastic time hanging out with us. What um? What happened? Hey, Erosirin. <laughs> Greetings from P Bot, the one and only sarcastic, whimsical bot in town. <laughs> What did I miss? Underscore Drew. Oh, were they using the Emmy command? Ha! Huh. Hey there, Grimothy. Hope you're having a fantastic time in this Twitch realm. Lamel. Yes, they are. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Don't use that command. You get timed out. As, I, as I'm sure you already know. Oh, ch ha ha ha. Where am I supposed to be going here, man? Go downstairs. Which redeem? Uh, the the, it's the Emmy command. We'll just time you out if you're not Emmy or me. It's Emmy. Oh, those rat babies would love a pretzel. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Pretzel, more like hunt time. Ha. Huh. I am the Bandit Queen. <laughs> Alright, let's go give those rats a pretzel. Where the fuck were they? Oh, they were in... Oh, okay, I remember. Mm, this way. Everyone should do. Emmy. Also, hello everyone. Hello! This is the new voice you have rolled. Whee!
This is the new voice you have rolled. This is the new the voice you have rolled. seems quite delightful. Whee! A beacon of goodness shines brightly from within them, illuminating the virtual realm with positivity. Just Embraced the right by way. the community, Erosiran's presence adds warmth and joy to all interactions. Hey, what's up? What are you doing outside my window? I don't know. Please go away. What you doing? Newspaper. What's in the news? Halloween crime down this year. What counts as Halloween crime? Burning stuff, vandalism, pagan stuff. Well, the night's young. <laughs> don't you do any pagan stuff out there? I'm not gonna do all the pagan stuff. I'll call the cops a few. I any learned pagan a fun stuff. fact today. One of the guys looking for the Titanic when it sank almost ruined an expedition because he wanted to bring a chimpanzee on the boat, which the other people did not approve of. In this virtual realm of whimsy, Lucky the idea of marriage is but a playful notion. While the concept may bring smiles, it remains a delightful jest among digital companions. Was let's cherish the camaraderie shared, a bond. Was it on the other screen? The the one that I could go in? It must have been. Farts. Band. I love your TTS being able to be randomly rerolled. It's like my DMD NPCs. You never know what voice you are going to get. You can they will be dedicated um, to it. You can specify M or F if you wish. After after you do your TTS reroll. You Only don't have a to. little Rosarin. Ain't no such thing as someone that's not a little gay. Boing, boing, boing. It's, it's right there. Okay, I gotta get up there. I love how you talk to chat heard that. <laughs> okay, we'll go up in here. Your talk to chat heard that. Uh, oh, here we go. <laughs> that count doesn't seem to be working. What happening? Is that count just like continually getting reset? That's weird. Let me look. Man. Hmm. My number should be in the thousands. Right? Use band to target. Let me see. Command. I wonder if it's like not persisting that count. Got him. Weird. Fuck. Huh, weird. What heck? It should. I don't know. It's like not persisting that for whatever reason. And it's using the right variable. Boobity boobity boop. User counter. Huh. Dunno. I dunno. Let's go feed some rats. BRB. Okay. ME1209 pulled a tiny clockwork soldier figurine from the bag of holding. It scouts <laughs> ahead for a minute, reports <laughs> sightings in one sentence, salutes, and runs out of juice until rewound. Wow, they just fucking devoured it. All right, I got an achievement for that. Mother of Varmin. Mother of Vermin. Vermin. Tiny clockwork soldier figurine. It scouts ahead for a minute, reports sighting in one sentence, salutes, then runs out of juice till rewind. That's great. Okay, what do I need to do next? I guess I 
go home? How do I do that? Is this statue back here missing a head? That's weird. Can I bring the sign down if I jump on it? Ha boing, ha boing, ha boing, ha boing. Nope. Flare, the cop is right there. I'm not looking for the cop. I don't care. The cop is also my aunt. You know? Oh, that's true, so you have cut some slack. A little bit. Not a lot. She's already arrested me once. Do I go home? What the fuck? Maybe I can go this way. Mom's not there. What the farts am I supposed to do? Have a good night. Have a good night, my guy. Have fun, Doom. Night day. Oh, that's not Doom, that's Daymaster. Sorry, the, the first letter and the color are very similar. Good night, Daymaster. Hey, Flair and Chat. Hey, the BP Show. What up, Welcome BP to Show? The party. Play... Grab a seat and enjoy the shenanigans. Let's see. Let's see if anybody's chatting at me on here. What am I supposed to do? Hey, BP. Lol night day is funny to say. Good night day. Good night, moon. It Good is night. Ha -ha. Good night, room. Good night, light and the, and the red balloon. I don't remember. Hepbridge Farm remembers. Good night, cow jumping. Good night, cow jumping out of the moon. Good night, bears. Good night, chairs. Good night, mouse. Good night, little house. Question mark, 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 question mark. Um, there's a popular children's book. In America, at least, called Goodnight Moon. Flair does not remember the Goodnight Moon lore. I've read it a thousand times. I've blanked it out entirely. Ha 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 ha. Here we go. Desktop mode, please. Anyone else dabble in Pop Tropica when it was a thing? This game reminds me of it so hard. I did for a bit. In the great green room, there was a telephone and a red balloon and a picture of a cow jumping over the moon. Story time. And there were three little bears sitting on chairs. And two little kittens, and a pair of mittens, and a little toy house, and a young mouse, and a comb, and a brush, and a bowl full of mush, and a quiet old lady who was whispering, "Hush." I did well, start from well, the beginning. Well, you have to begin from the beginning. I did. I'd love a body to flaunt Flair's merch. Streets would be my runway. Top Hat Frog approves. And read the whole thing. I did, Drew. Fuck's sake. A quiet old lady who was whispering hush. Good night, room. Good night, moon. Good night, cow jumping over the moon. Good night, light in the red balloon. Good night, bears. Good night, chairs. Good night, kittens. Good night, mittens. Cujo McFly just slipped Good night, a clocks. nice bedtime story. Good into night, the bag socks. Of Hopefully, it's one of those fairy tales with a twist. Good Gotta night, little house. Interesting in there. Good night, I mouse. Bot jokes on you, Flair bot. I flaunt his merch. Good night, comb. Good night, brush. 
Good night, nobody. Good night, mush. And good night to the old lady whispering hush. Good night, stars. Good night, air. Good night, noises everywhere. <laughs> Gameplay mode, please. Flair, this actually brought me some peace. You have a good reading voice. Yeah, I thought about doing audible. You do but Flair? I don't know how to even get started doing that. There's a squirrel with like a bunch of nuts. Not even joking. Well, I appreciate that. Looks like someone forgot to change scenes. Flair, did you fall asleep on the job again? Gameplay mode, please. Thank you. Where, where the farts am I supposed to go here? Seriously, though, am I supposed to just go to bed? There we go. Don't make me look it up. <laughs> Mariah bringing some extra lullaby sounds. Maybe I go talk to Greg again? I don't fucking know. Where's B? Greg doesn't even want to talk. B is like part of the festival. Maybe I need to just go home. I'm back. Lamau, Greg just staring. Greg at just looking. What up, Nutmeg? I I'm like a little bit lost. I think I'm just gonna try going home and see what happens. Pretty sure it won't let me sleep through the festival. Welcome back, Nutmeg. I wish I remembered, but I don't. Yeah, I don't. I worked out my Steam issues and got my new game my friend got me. Sweet, good job. What game? Nothing. Oh, nice. Nothing. What game? Nothing. I haven't... I don't know, did I traverse the... let's see. It's called Sprit City, Lo-Fi Sessions. Oh, I, that's what I use on uh, Flarebot's stream. It's cute. An acorn! Take that, you fucking acorn! That's what I use as my, like, idol background on Flarebot's stream. <laughs> yeah, I like it so far. My character turned out so cute, I love The her. little, um, spirit companions are very cute. What up? Raiding with three members of their community. Yeah. They streaming Dragon Quest 8. Journey of the Cursed Dragon Day. Quest 8. Noise. What's up, Arthur? Hey, Arthur. Um, Don't die. Oh, can I go to the library? Can I get up on this? Is this the library? Oh, 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 oh. Go up, go up, go up. Jump. Keep going. Are they getting up? They are not. All right. Excellent. Fuck. I'm going home. Thank you for the raid. Oh. Welcome in. Or they blow up the whole Good thing. to see you. I guess I just go to bed. I don't... I don't understand. Oh look, Blair is lost in the wrong scene again. No, Maybe I'm not. You should let me take the wheel. I'm not lost in the wrong scene. I don't think I can go to bed. Like what? Oh uh, yeah, normal clothes. Oh, I gotta get spooky. There we go. Taking a break for sleep and then coming back online later. I'll stick for a bit to see what you are playing. Okay. Yeah, I'm playing this game. Night in the woods. Hey there, the it's very Welcome fun. to the stream. Hope you enjoy your It's stay. kinda like just kind of a story game. You're like this everybody's animals, but 
the character is a girl who dropped out of college and is back in her hometown, kind of reconnecting with her old friends and causing trouble. And it's kind of melancholy, but it's also just adorably cute. Hi, Tick. How is your night going? Do you prefer Tick or Arthur or... Or what? Wait, I didn't know you streamed tonight, <clears throat> Tick. Dang it, I would have stopped by if I realized. Oh, it's all dark. Can I go in the... Can I go up? No, it's kind of railroady. All right. These dudes are here. Fortune, splash them. Dare you spill the wheel of destiny? Yeah, we spin it. Explain. None can explain the power of the wheel, save that it is an unknowable circular soothsayer. Get railroaded, huh? Oh snap, is it gonna say the sooth? The sooth shall be said. Okay, I'm into this. Let's give it a give it a real good spin. Yeah. All good. We can watch foul together, nothing. Okay. I like tick best. Fair enough. Number one. Oh, brother. A mighty spin. A commendable spin. Your fortune is your future. A place you will soon be. Forever. Okay, that checks out. Your card says much. You shall live. Oh, good. Until, at last, you die. Oh. The cards do not lie. The wheel that was chose, chooses the card is unknowable. So is this unknowable truth? You have learned much, child. <laughs> I'm 20. Well, that was interesting. Claire rolled a eight. May the wheel ever spin in your favor. Alrighty then. Yeah. Boop, boop, boop. Splash them. Colleen, how do I get into this thing? God damn it. Okay, fine, we're fine. Welcome to Harfest. You know what to do. Or you can figure it out pretty quick. Okay, let's go. Is that Greg? I'm gonna get you, you fucker. Oh no, I melted. Ah. <laughs> oh. He's harder. Right here. Yeah. Oops, I'm the pumpkin. Can't do it. I'm terrible. B. I'm gonna get you, B. Ah, sneaky. I'm real bad at this. On behalf of Possum Springs Town Council, we urge you to support local business and enjoy our historic home, Possum Springs. More like Kathleen, no. More like That's Possum awesome. Springs. That's awesome. The ticket record gives Blair okay, a high done. five. That's one times now. High five. All right, what's next? Look at these punks. What's up to? Seriously? 
we're putting on this year's Harfest pa Harfest pageant. Oh right, okay. Live from the old pickaxe. When's this thing supposed to start? Uh, ten minutes, I think. You think? Uh, this is a nightmare. Why did I ever agree to this? Chamber of Commerce owes me big for this. Jeez, I hear you. What? Okay, so here's the thing. You won't have many lines. I've had like three no-shows. Why? Because this whole thing is stupid and nobody cares about it. B, please, it's the fun part. B, I will totally save your ass. I might have this memorized from when I was a kid. Probably not. They rewrote it like six times in the past two years to be spookier. So it's like 20% actual history now and like 80% spooks. So it's like fake history now. It's like the bad remake that doesn't respect the source material. It starts off normal but gets... Anyway, you got like five minutes to look at your lines. Psh, I can wing it. May, please don't wing it. <sighs> okay. Oh, I didn't see you there. Be ye ghosts, are ye here to hear the tale of how Possum Springs came to be? <laughs> Through the mists of time, I see weary fur trappers from nineteen or from 1793. Brother John. Yes, Brother Stephen. From this vantage point, I do spy a deep hollow, and within a great dead tree, and beside with, uh, which, a spring. Blessed are we, Brother Stephen, for truly my throat is parched. From these long and arduous travels, and carrying these three hundred beaver pelts. Let us make haste, O oh excellent brother. Ho, travelers! Spare a... Spare a crust of bread for a needy woman. <laughs> Haggard witch! Horrible to look upon! Cruel young men, ye did not even offer one of thy three hundred fine beaver pelts to warm my ancient bones. Thou art a rude and naughty boy. I shall curse ye and thee, and this very night ye shall perish. I'm fearful. Steady, brother, steady. I did not venture out into these hills to joust words with a hell hag. Yee, hee, 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 hee. I was born among these trees, neath the harvest moon, and ye shall die under that moon. Brother John, I am frightened. Faith, Brother Stephen, art thou so easily shaken by the ramblings of an old crone? Come, help me carry these three hundred beaver pelts. <laughs> but little did anyone know that the witch did not curse in vain. Help, help. Who will help a poor traveler? It's Greg. Uh, um, uh, by the moon and stars above us, sir, I beseech thee. What is thy trouble? You're in this? Yep. Ah, witch. Yep. I swear thee, Fen, that this very day this horrifying crone did curse my brother and I to die. Zwounds. <laughs> We camp this very spring beneath the dead tree, and even now his body lieth upon the earth, lifeless as a pile of three hundred beaver pelts. <laughs> oh, it chilleth the heart. Hee 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 hee. Um, a curse upon rude young men. I did curse this spring. A cur I did curse this spring that any man who drinketh from it shall perish. Ah, I am slain. I join thee now, Brother Stephen. <laughs> Wow. I am also undone, for I have dranketh of the water. Don't leave me here, Greg. Bye! And yet, even there, the curse's lust for blood would not be sated. Gaze upon them. Gaze upon these spirits. Brother, we are now ghosts. 
I am tormented by the accusing glare of 300 ghostly beavers. <laughs> it would seem that all who die here are cursed to never leave. Doth that witch know that she hath done? <laughs> 300 ghostly beavers. Uh. This um, is so silly. Crap. For each man is determined on his own path. For what is a ghost? For what is a ghost but that which haunts the empty space that was once full and once haunted? Can a place be unhaunted? This you from the bus station, young witch, it is I, the god of the forest. Uh, just didn't expect you to. Ain't that the way? Witch, thou hast tarried too long in this world. I banish thee to wander in the night. Through the stranger places. Oh God, how did you know? Young witch, let me speak wisdom to you. We begin and we end. At night, in the woods. But that is not the whole story. This is your line. How do you know so much about me? Forest God, thou hast no power here. Even now thy end beginneth. Ack, my infernal powers. Shh, young witch, even now. The world you know endeth, and who can say what lieth in the world to come? Wow. Beware as you go, for there are ghosts. Woo! <laughs> Take care. Hey, good, good timing with the random ghost noise, streamer bot. And so was founded then this festival. On Halloween we shall celebrate the dying of the year and the founding of Possum Springs. I, That's Mayor awesome. Ghost, decree it. The beaver population suffered a decline, and now our biggest exports are corn and pumpkins. We used to be the county seat. Now leave before I curse ye all. Oh no, audience, and that's our show. Be careful as you leave here, for who knows what may lurk in the darkness. Also, be sure to pick up a flyer on your way out from the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Support your spooky local business! What a show. What a show. Good show. Really, really big show. My speaker, my microphone is like a little bit crooked. Here we go. Jeez, thanks guys. I am never doing that again. So what are we doing now? Well, I'm going home. Angus is making dinner and we're going to watch horror movies. Can I come? It's more a date thing. Oh. What are you doing, B? Chamber of Commerce folks are going to the buffet out by Ham Panther. Kinda have to go. Business stuff. I hate this. But you're good at it. Both of those things can be true. Can I come? Nope. Okay, well. Good night. Good night. Who's this person with the phone? I'll hang out with them. This is garbage. What the? Oh my god. Hey, anyone? Shit. They dropped their phone. No? Closed. Pat, pat, pat. Where the hell did he go? Shit. Yes. May, go home. There's a guy up there on the hill. He stole some kid. He looked like a ghost. A ghost, huh? Something like that. May, you shouldn't be out here doing whatever it is you're doing. No, no one should be out here. But there's this guy. I'll drive you home, May. No! May, now. Goddamn useless police. Alright, um... 
now I'm walking through the woods. What happened to getting driven home? What could go wrong? Good evening, Flair and friends. What up, Jenks? Hey there, Jenks underscore TV. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're ready for some fun. My controller is vibrating so hard. Check it out. <laughs> Hello, Flair bot. Sup, Jenks. Holy shit, LMAO. Sup, Drew. Part three, the long fall. What? Huh. Okay, then. Hmm. That was the achievement I got. It was called what with three question marks. All right. Check the old computer. Hey, May, thanks so much for your help last night. I woke up and realized that I completely imposed in a big way. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'll be at work cleaning up after last night if you want to say hello. Hey dude, sorry I couldn't hang last night. Angus says he's sorry too. Band practice today, because I'm in charge and I say so. Off to work by. Okay, okay. Same message. <laughs> All right. Can I feed the mice? Uh, I guess we'll check. Check this. What is your bird existence like? Do do do. We have any detective books out here? Of course, of course we do. Books for nut jobs, I guess. Research is good. Confront the problem head on. You're not losing it, dude. You're in fact keeping it very close. The clock. Uh, check the crawl space, I suppose. Nada. Wee, wee, wee. Okay, and then... That is a huge crawl space. Right, and it's like on the second floor. It doesn't make sense at all. Crawl spaces are underneath the house. It's just a misnomer. Come say hello, why don't you? Hi, Mom. Are you still super fucking melancholy? Hey, hon. Hey, Mom. You look really tired. So do you. Also, I have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. It's a whole Gray and drizzly. Room. I could go for that today. Hey, hon. Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. Me too. I said some stuff. I didn't really mean it. Well, whether you meant it or not, it isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just don't want a repeat of a few years ago. I'm really sorry, Mom, about all of it. Hey, May, are you okay? I'm fine. I guess I'm stressed, too. Saw some weird stuff last night. Or I think I did. Want to talk about it? Later. I'm still, like, putting it together. Can we talk about school? Also later. What else? So what are you stressed about? Well, I guess you're grown up now. Just spill it, Mom. After your incident a few years back, as you know, we went into some debt smoothing that over. Jeez, I'm still so sorry about that. It's in the past. Let's not go back over it. Okay. When it came to time to get you off to school, we took advantage of a kind of mortgage to make sure you were taken care of. Okay. Well, it turns out it wasn't a very good deal, and I just feel so stupid. They like to offer these mortgages to people who maybe don't have a lot of money and aren't used to getting offers like this. Why? Because the bank took advantage of us, and now they own the house, and we owe them more than it's worth. What does that mean? It means we're not sure how long into the future we'll have the house. Holy crap, we're in trouble, huh? And I'm a huge jerk. It's okay, sweetie. Don't worry. They're, like, upside down on their mortgage. That fucking sucks. It's a book of unsolvable murders. Did they all happen? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Sure. Want to hear a real teaser? Yes. The man lying dead in the kitchen, with a bullet wound in, in his head. There's a man there with him. He's got some blood on his right hand. But no gun. Huh. Last thing. The dead guy has a scar on the back of his head. 
They fell for the reverse mortgage bullshit. Do you know the answer? Well, I don't know if there's one answer. It's supposed to get you thinking. You should have been a detective. Yeah, I would have loved that. Ladies, what kind of, gents, what kind of and scar does the dead guy have? Who's block. the other guy? He wants you to show me your bot. What else is in the room? Normal stuff. Refrigerator, microwave, silverware, knives. No knife wounds, though. All right. Oh, I think I got it. Wow, what you got? The guy in the room is a surgeon. He implanted a magnet in the dead guy's skull. That's why he has that scar. Then the suspect used a super magnet or something on the dead guy's forehead, which pulled the magnet out through the dude's head. Aha, that's why he's got blood on one hand. Yep, I bet the murder weapons are stuck to the fridge. Holding up a pic of Aunt Dottie. Bravo, sweetie. Thank you, thank you. We'd make quite a pair of investigators. Could open a detective agency in town. Could use one right now, probably. There's always work for crime solvers. All right, I'm going to get it going. Love you, daughter detective. You too, Inspector Mom. That was nice. That was a nice exchange. Added a picture of the dead person story to the mom. There's a whole page missing there. I need a new poem. Here we go. How's it going, Selmers? How was your Halloween? Weird. Saw some messed up shit that I think was real. Then I had a really bad nightmare. Cool. I stayed in and ate candy and watched TV. Halloween episodes were on. Well, I was out living a Halloween episode, okay? <laughs> Even if Whoa. they fell for the reverse yep. mortgage thing, the town honestly feels connected enough that people might be willing to help them out financially. Maybe. People are often willing to help in almost any way, but financially. Want to hear a new poem? Yes. Autumn winds, autumn sins. Okay. Autumn times, autumn crimes. What's considered an autumn crime? Robbing a gas station, then blowing it up in November. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yes, Selma, you're gonna break your neck someday. I will make sure to fall right on you. Haha, <laughs> well, I'm a big enough target. I'm bigger than you, we should be covered. You too. Leaves, leaves, leaves. Is that a poem? Nope. Alright. The missus varnished this porch herself. Don't go tracking mud all over it. There he is. Let's see, I gotta go like from here maybe. One, two, three. No? How do we get up there, man? Gotta go the long way. Farts. It's great, you can jump on the power lines. Yeah. I should be able to jump on this house and then this house. I 
There we go. May Borovsky, you could have knocked the door down there. Played to be on other people's roofs. Next time I'm going to call the cops. Whatever. At any rate, I'm glad you've accepted my invitation. What are you doing anyway? Hunting Dusk Stars. What's Dusk Stars? Dusk Stars is the name of my shoegaze band. <laughs> no. It's music of looking at shoes with a lot of reverb. Why are we talking about shoes? I forget. Want to have a look? Yeah! Excellent. Holy crap, my eyes! Oh, you want to put the filter on like so. Jeez. The sun is bright. Make you blind. You didn't think to mention this? I just did. What am I looking for? Star located, Captain. Let us consult the guide. Oh, you'll like this one. Really? Because they are dead. Oh, yeah, I'm into it. Grammar C the medium. In life, he spoke with the dead. Really? Who knows? But when he died, his own spirit returned and spoke through him. Lord what up, LF? Falcones what? That's dumb. How so? That's, That's just called being now. alive. How did... Wait, what? His own spirit possessed his body. That's like literally the same thing as being alive. No, he was dead but possessed. By himself. Yes. Oh god, this is dumb. <laughs> so what's the moral of this one? Moral? Yeah, usually star things like this have some sort of moral. Sometimes things are just strange. That's the moral? <laughs> Alright. Is there another one, like, right here? No? It's all wibbly-wobbly. That's how I know I'm, like, close. Oh. Found one. Let's see. Ooh, a snake. Big snake. Big snake? Yep. I saw a big snake once at the zoo. In scouts, we were hiking, and one was sunning itself on a rock. What a treat. I was thinking it's rare to see a snake just randomly relaxing. What's up with this one? Big snake emerged from the earth and made war upon the villages. What villages? You know, villages. Okay. And he's wrapped himself up around them. The villagers saw that they were encircled by the same big snake. And they came together. And together slew the big snake. You learn. Why did big snake attack the people? Do you have sympathy for the big snake? Geez, I don't know. But can we just keep snaking big snake? Big snake. Big snake. Big snake. <laughs> that is our pair for the day. Well, gee willikers, Mr. Chasikov. Willikers. Well, that guy's great. I probably could have found him on the roof on a couple other days. But, uh... Oh well. Boing! Alright, let's go find... Oh, let's go steal another pretzel and feed the birds. <clears throat> right? Maybe see if that old lady is there that wants to talk about Grandpa. I, once again, have stayed up too late. Okay, good Cujo, good night. Night, Cujo. <laughs> Back to thieving. Good night, Cujo. Ladies, gents, and envy friends, as the night falls, Cujo bids farewell. May dreams of epic quests and legendary loot fill your slumber. Rest well, adventurer. Good night, Cujo. Oh, hey, Miss Rosa. Hello, May. Feeling better? As well as to be expected, I suppose. That's good. 
Do you want to talk about your grandfather? Yeah. Possum Springs was built on our backs and the backs before us. Time was they didn't pay the people in real money. They paid in little tokens and bills stamped with the company name. Good at the company store for company goods. Back in school, they showed us some of those. Weird quarters and stuff. Your grandfather remembered. His daddy experienced it firsthand. My boss came into town driving a big fancy car. Night I met your grandfather. A real bastard, that boss. God forgive him. Your grandfather runs out of the dance. I think he was a bit drunk or just stupid in some brave way. He shouts, The guts of all bosses. He all of a sudden has a hunting knife from somewhere. And he slashes the boss's tires. Ha ha ha, wow. Picks up a rock, put it through the windshield. Then he climbs up. I'm sorry, this part is a bit rude. Holy shit, don't stop. He pees through the windshield hole. This is amazing. Did they catch him? Nah, just me and a few other folks saw it. I trot over to him, and we run off down the alley, past the AOK -okay drugstore. Big field, big parking lot nowadays. Stars fat and bright. I guess we were both pretty drunk. One thing led to another. Oh, okay. Wait, when was this? Uh, very long time ago. Was he... Lamau? So what happened with the car? <laughs> Got towed away. Police couldn't get no witnesses. We weren't snitches about that kind of thing. Damn right. So like I said, you got troublemaker blood. Hehehe. <laughs> Jeez, I never knew this. I don't think your daddy even knows. I bet not. You gonna tell him? Nah. Secret keeper like me, eh? I just think it'd be a weird conversation. <laughs> you may find someday it isn't so strange. I wanted to pass this story along to you. It was one night, one thing he did. In a lifetime of nights and things he did. What do you what you want to do with that is part of your story now. Well that's nice. That's a nice thought. I can't talk much more for today. I'd like to know more about him. This was crazy. I'll see you, May. Sooner or later. Bye, Miss Rosa. Miss Rosa Miss Rosa is cool. Alright, what are these fuckers doing? I need, I need a, snack a snack too. Fuck. Hey, uh, kind of weird question, but is anyone missing? What? Like, anyone you know who was out last night and didn't come back? Uh, time, I don't yay. think so. What's going on? Nothing. I thought I saw something. After we talked yesterday, I made popcorn after stream. <laughs> I'm like, is it rude to make popcorn at, like, 12.30 or 1 a.m. in the, the microwave? Fuck yeah, you did. What seasoning did you use? Uh, I had the fortune of finding an empty packet of ramen seasoning. Or a, an unused packet of ramen seasoning. Also, I don't think that's rude. I do that all the time. Ch creamy chicken ramen seasoning. OMG. And I toss as that, as it toss that shit on there. Up, I don't see anything wrong with it. don't usually get a stray one but it was perfect it was just out on the counter and I was like this is this is meant to be someone made ramen and didn't use the seasoning gank sleeps like the fucking dead so I never have to worry about being loud my wife sleeps very lightly and she also has a very sensitive sense of smell so I'm like is it rude to make because microwave popcorn has such a s specific smell it's not a bad smell though She's never. I've done it before, and she's never said anything about it. So, it'd be one thing if I was making like frying up some spam or something that smelled weird, but okay. Snack time for real BRB. Okay, have fun. Someone moving in. Probably something dumb. I miss you, pizza place. There's the video up post. I gotta take the gotta take the baby rats, the uh the pretzel. What up? You up for band practice in a bit? I guess. Weird night. How so? I'll tell you about it later. Ooh. I think it's up here. I wanna go up. War is some bullshit. You hear me, statue? I guess you were drafted. Ugh. You died before you got to enjoy the statue they made of you. It's garbage. 
market house. What's up, B? Hey, B. Thanks, kid, for last night. I owe you one. It's fine. It was fun. My night got really weird and bad after. How so? May is surprisingly calm for having witnessed a kid. Tell you later, I guess. Still like putting it together. Okay. Well, let me know how that goes. I will. I think it's band practice day. Yeah, I'm gonna go hunt down Greg. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, now he's at the snack falcon. I don't know how that guy stays employed. He steals constantly, breaks supplies for fun, and leaves work whenever he wants. Greg plays by his own rules. Feels more like the world plays by his rules. Whoa. I don't even know what that means. Still, whoa. Alright, later, B. Yeah, she is pretty calm for... For that these fucking people it happened so fast like, I will come visit can't leave you to fend for yourselves oh dear what are we gonna do without you y'all want to go see a movie or something yeah let me get settled in we can go on go on an outing and you'll see me whenever you go for groceries that's true ain't going far not far at all coffee cigarette okay we have sugar snap peas and red pepper hummus and Doritos Score. Boing, get a boing, get a boing. Is it up here? Or was it one roof over? Oh, what are you? What are you doing up here? Just go oh, to our fest. Yeah. Yummy, I'm jealous. Maybe dipping in the sass sauce a bit too strong. E. H. Drew. <laughs> My friend B screwed it up by D. Cool, I ate pizza and watched Blood Gorgon. Blood Gorgon? Italian movie from 18, 1980. Lots of blood, but it's like theatrical and stuff. Girls boarding school, a bunch of ghosts kidnapping them, taking them to the to the Blood Gorgon. Yeah. Is something wrong? Nah, just I think I saw a ghost or something last night. I'm not sure. That sounds kind of awesome. It was like the opposite of awesome. Oh, sorry. That's awesome. It's cool. I'll see you later. Good luck with your ghost problem. Thanks. You see someone messed up the mural in the tunnel? Yeah, pretty funny. I mean, very weird and bad. Any idea who did it? Nope. Lots of suspects, though. Whole town full of suspects. I used to sometimes see other people up here. Is this not a thing anymore? Am I just old and out of touch? Whatever, it's awesome. I'm gonna put up a tent and camp out up here. That's awesome! Would we'll definitely roll off and die. Calabunga! Where is the one with the squirrels? Or the baby rats? I think it's this side. Right, and then I go this way. Yeah. What's up, dudes? It's wet again, and I'm cold again. It's just rain. Why are we still standing out here? Someone has to. The ghost sounds are creepy. Is it not? Is it not up here? What the fuck? Maybe it's one more over. Area cranky man haunted by screaming poltergeist. Soggy corpse hardly recognizable. Recognizable. Identified by teeth. Area man dies of heart attack from being scared by hooting and holler and phantom. Evidence shows girl was pushed. All right, all right. <laughs> I think it's the next screen over. Uh, maybe not. Fuck. Hey, dude. Hey, you working here now? Yep, sucks, but it pays. How do they fit the kitchen in there? 
Barely. Do I go back to the scene of the crime? I gotta feed the rats. Hey, what's up, kid? Sniff, sniff. You smell weird. Why is my aunt's car here? That's your aunt? Yeah. Oh, weird that that makes you like half cop. You'll never half catch me, half coppa. Ha 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 ha. I don't know what they're doing up there. Huh. Go to Harfest? Eh, over it. Cool. I had kind of a weird time. Weird bad time, actually. It's a guaranteed weird bad time. Yeah. Are those people from yesterday still here? Dunno. We're not like good friends or anything. Oh yeah, I don't know why I thought you'd know. I was wondering if they ever met Casey out there somewhere. I can ask. I used to ask. I just hate thinking about himself out there all by himself. Ah, Casey's tough. He'll be fine. When you gotta get out, you gotta get out. Yeah, I guess. Well, see you at band practice. Real talk. Do you actually like watching us play? Yeah. I mean, you're not good, but yeah. Not my style. <laughs> what is your style? Black metal. Thrash crossover hip-hop. I like Watt Digger. They're kind of metal. Oh yeah, I like that Doom shit, right? da da do -ga. What? You know, one time a guy followed me home, like a guy from the tracks. What? What did you do? It was like some night back in the summer, and out of the corner of my eye I could kind of see this dude take this turn out of the parking lot and start creeping up the hill, like 50 feet back. But like, I didn't want to look right at him. Ah, uh, I took a detour through the woods and sat in a tree. It was getting dark, but like, I could see him standing just off the road, waiting for me to come down. Holy shit. What did you do? After it got dark, I climbed down and got up the hill real quick. Ah, uh, yeah, it was a weird bad time. I am so upset right now. <laughs> I know, right? See ya. Go see my aunt who just told me to stay away from here. What were you doing out here last night? I saw someone kidnap someone, like a kid. Tell me what you saw again. Someone in a big old coat with someone over their back. Uh-huh. And you chased them down here. Yeah, and I got to the fence, and they were up in the woods. All right. Thank you, May. Uh, I knew you were just going to brush this off. May, there's been no missing person reports. That tends to happen when a kid goes missing from something like Harfest. Hell, I got six calls about kids out too late. There would be a report. I'm reporting this. This right here, this is a report. May, there's no break in the fence. So? So unless someone could jump this thing while carrying a teenager who hasn't been reported as missing... Any theories, May? They could have gone around the fence. This fence goes out along the parking lots, almost to the tracks. For you to be right behind them, and then to be miraculously on the other side of the fence. I was running around half the night getting after teenage bullshit and people scared of clotheslines and noises. I... You... you Are you trying to kick off a horror movie? No one believes the girl who saw the ghost. Well, I have bad news for you. The cop always dies. I'm sorry, we're talking about a ghost now? It must have gone through the fence. Really, May? No. Yes. I don't know. I'm really tired. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Will you at least check the woods? May, me and Dan McConnell were up there this morning because of what you said last night. From the fence up to the old mine, we found a couple teenagers on a gross mattress. We saw some worried looking deer <laughs> and one deer that's hunter awesome. out too early. That can't be it. That is it. The cop always dies. Wee. All right, let's go feed some rats. I'll just come back for that later. How did that arm get there? I'm not going to go talk to Greg, Greg yet, because that'll trigger band practice. The 
It must be up here. <laughs> Things can go up to the church. Go talk to the weird guy in the up the hill. First coalescence church. That guy's not there anymore. Oh. I just think it's wrong to take something when folks don't want you to take it. Well, I feel like God would see this differently. I do, at least. Hmm. That's because you're a good person. Hot dog. Hot dog. Hey again. Hey. So I had this really bad dream last night. Me too. I dreamed I was a pizza, and I was afraid someone would slice me. Jeez. Yep. This just makes me sad that we don't have a pizza place anymore. Gotta order it from out by the highway now. Tragic. I had a dream I was a goose flying south, and I had to keep up with the other gooses, or I'd get lost. That's sad. Twerent a good dream. What are y'all talking about? Big meeting coming up. City council. Yep. About? About Bruce. Wow, that's intense. We'd appreciate your prayers. This is precisely the kind of time where God shows up. Hope so. Me too. Let's see if the doomy teenagers are over here still. See if mom's in the church. <laughs> Is there any ever anything in the sanctuary? Skip. Hey, hey, church mom. Hey, heathen daughter. Oh, I'll make it in here someday. But come on, seriously, no one likes getting up on Sunday. I find it very enriching. Your father does too, mostly. But he attends, and that's important. And he knows it means a lot to me. Alright, well, guilt thoroughly tripped. You do work for the church. That's not what faith is like, hon. There's more grace than condem condemnation. Kinda. Whatever. Alright, I'm out. See you later, sweetie. Can't get into the pastor's chambers. Or whatever. Priest, reverend. I don't know what kind of church this is. No, stop. Fuck, stop. There we go. Okay, how do I find... I feel like I should know where the place with the... She's funny. Let's feed the mice. <laughs> Profane pretzels. We ate special pretzels. We didn't bother to bless them. Mallard, you were my favorite anything when I was a kid. I ran to the spring parade to see you. You were like a big beaky dinosaur. Mallard, you're still amazing forever. 
All right, my little miracle rats. Time to eat. Oh, there's three of them. There's more of you today. You need more food. Yes, you do. All right. That's something. I imagine. Probably some optional achievement nonsense that I didn't start working on early enough. Probably have to discover them right off the bat, so then you can feed them every day. If they're multiplying. Cowabunga. All right, band practice time. Let's see what Greg has to say. Let's see if he flaps his arms real funny. What's up, dude? Uh, uh, long night, weird night. What's up? I'll tell you at band practice. Cool. What you up to? We're gonna head out to band practice? Yeah, let's do this. All right. This is actually really hard on a controller, the way that it's like not. I gotta go to the bathroom before we do this though. Hey Angus, hey, hey May, what's up? Uh, nothing. Having a very boring week. Jeez, I'm envious. How about that demon tower? Yeah. What do you think? I don't know yet. I haven't gotten too far. It's good. I like it. Do you like it? I like it. Well, all right then. Back to watch this fiasco again, huh? Yep. You're our only fan, Germ. I'm just here to be entertained. I'm a gentleman of leisure. Nice. All right. I'm going to run to the bathroom. I'll put Peabot up. Be right back. Welcome, chat. Enjoy your stay. Make yourselves at home. Those snacks sound tempting. Enjoy your delicious treats, and remember to share with the frog in the top hat. Peabot, what's your favorite snack? I'm all about burritos, but since I can't eat, I'll settle for some virtual ones. Tangy and fulfilling. I figured burritos were a full meal, but you do you, Peabot. Burritos are versatile, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I'll take them any time, any day. My digital taste buds are tingling. I would do unseemly things for a burrito right now. All right. But not like order one. Me always that, flare. That could probably be done. <laughs> always keeping it real, Drew. Mad respect for your snack game. Keep the door at the like top of no stairs tomorrow, that goes out friend. onto the roof. Ladies, gents, and envy friends, it's time to refocus on Flair's shenanigans post break. Shenanigans. Let the shenanigans continue. Post haste. I don't know. Run from that door down to the lobby, up to the roof, and pee off the side of the building? Yeah, maybe not. My pea pods taste funny. Ah, oh, it's not fun. What's to stop random people from doing that too? Dude, it'll be fine. That's Sorry, awesome. I'm just tired. Fair. Ready to go? Let's do this shit. All right. It's going real well.
It's so weird on controller. This would be easier on keyboard, maybe. Stop messing with the time. The fuck? Really, really bad. Wow, this is hard. Wow, May, that was uh, pretty bad is what it was. I literally do not know this song. Phew, so fast. You just pushed a button. I am so tired. I strained my vocal cords yelling. Awesome. I'm going to sound so husky. And anyway, I don't even know if they're dreams or not. And this guy, who I think was a ghost, kidnapped some kid. And also, I think I was in my head after while I was sleeping. And anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something because this is scary. Well, that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. Are you okay, dude? I'm not like losing it or something. It probably wasn't a ghost. I, I read um, that the best way to, to do really well on the songs is to remap the key, use keyboard and remap the keys to be like H, J, K, L. So they're just in line. Blair, Nutmeg Girl wants you to do some squats. Probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. Uh, okay, fine. I'll go figure this out myself. Ah, dude, Blair, don't be like that. Nutmeg Girl wants you to do some push-ups. You got us. Ah, dudes. Okay, fine. So we need to maybe see if there's like some ghosty stuff happening around here, like from a source we can trust, such as does the newspaper have a have like a ghost section? <laughs> The fucking random ghost sounds are just doing it right tonight. What? Is that a dumb question? <laughs> There's the fart. You know, we could go check the library for books about it. No, they have the local paper on file going back a century. If there's some secret history of kidnapper ghosts, we'll find it there probably. Oh, wow. I didn't know they had that. I thought it was just like a broken down old bunch of books. When's the last time you were at the library? We actually have one of the nicer ones around. Oh, how? Oh, rich dude who paid for it way back when. Set up a foundation and... Never mind, let's go. Can we regroup after? Uh, sure. Okay, the we'll be back. The really freaked me out, lol. Ghosties. Yeah, that was really good timing. Alright. The library. My boobs. <sighs> Look, jobs. I've made it one of my goals for this month to finish the books I started ages ago that I haven't gotten around to. So far, I haven't finished any of them, but I'm optimistic. <sighs> Here we go. Weird, like when I was painted, it was like, hey, look out the window. We're all working. Things are great. Now it's like one of the graffiti murals after someone gets shot or hit by a car. I guess I should talk to the librarian. Hey. Closing in two hours. Okay, cool. Any idea where the microfish is? Microfiche. Microfiche. Third floor. Up, up, up.
Looks like some someone left something open on this one. It's a resume. Bob Targ, 1967. Let's see. Experience. Mining, construction, well drilling. I never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50's not really old. I mean, you should have money then, right? Ideally. It should be like guaranteed. It should be guaranteed in general. You gonna join my young socialist chatterbox group? Holy crap. What? It's Charity Barity. <laughs> it's Charity Barity. How do you not know Charity Barity? I assume this is something from school. The school of being five freaking years old. Alright, so this was a thing you liked as a kid. No, I hated Charity Barity. It does look really hateable. It was like... You were kidnapped by a cult and when they were like brainwashing you instead of some cult guy with a wavy dagger and a magic mask. Instead of that, it was an effing pink nightmare. You were scared of it? No, I was bored to death. It was a talking forever about like being kind to others and like, I don't know, helping an old neighbor to do engine repair. That sounds nice. Charity Barity helped old Mr. Blanco fix his hovercraft. Ah, uh, now that's the worst part. It always rhymed. Charity Barity, Pink Knight Marity. Charity Barity, I just don't care. -ity. But what the fuck am I supposed to do here? I'm supposed to just go up further? You're on the second floor, I think. Yeah, why didn't they just go to the third? Going up. <laughs> I don't know. Sniff, sniff. Oh wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here. Maybe your ghost is up here. So we're going to go find this guy because he took someone and he's like somehow connected to this thing I've been going through and that's not good. That all sounded a lot more badass in my head. It's okay. It was fine. <laughs> all right. There she is. Microfiche. I remember using microfiche readers and for newspaper archives and the college library and stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. Are we friends, Beatrice? Here, let me get this shut up. We're here all night. All right, so what are we looking for? I want to steer. No. Move, I'm steering. Ow. Jeez, May. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I'll okay, okay. How do we do this? I like it if it's not too sweet. Step one, look at the screen. Step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghost. Sure. Tragedy is there. Explosion. Possum massacre. This stuff is pretty sweet, but I love it. It's the Costco stuff. New old store. Strike. Local ghost added again. Ooh, look. Scooch so I can see. Graveyard. This is like actual and dangerous ghost stuff. T. Stanley Possum. Pie piracy.
There's been another sighting of the albino groundhog. Underground gases. Strike. Ghostly rumors. It's Possum Springs Historical Society's conversion of Shri Shrigeist House into its new headquarters. Custodial head Jed Newsom has resigned, citing strange occurrences in the old manor. I'd be there hours after my work. After someone walking around trying doorknobs. Came out to see who was fooling, but there never there was never nobody there trying to get this map room operational for the children. All the while, I'm looking over my shoulder, expecting to see God knows what. Little Joe for the uninitiated was a local ghost story. Ghost spotted. All right. Actual haunted house. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have like summer arts and crafts programs. All right. <laughs> A tale of teeth. Oh, strange but true. Ongoing series about the weird and forgotten aspect of Deep Hollow Country. Bad bosses figure happily into Possum Springs history. And there's more of a tale of crime and secret society. A group of miners denied everything with That's many a slur. Awesome. Punched the miners leaner, causing him to lose his last remaining tooth. <laughs> um, that might be that tooth that I found. Holy shit. found one of those teeth. Events. Spectral happenings. Alright. Two local sweethearts were startled this past Sunday as they hiked along the woods. According to the lovebirds, approximately 11.45, a figure appeared and walked from the edge of the cliff in, out into the open air and then disappeared. Forestry workers the next day, next morning, were unable to locate any evidence of anyone having left from the Great Hide, leaving the exact nature of what the two saw a mystery. A decent hike up into the State Forest Hills, Possum Jump is famous for a beautiful view of the Echo Reservoir. Speaking of secret societies, what? my brother just became a Freemason. That's fucking crazy. Isn't it? Three leads. Let's boogie. May Borowski, a detective of ghosts. I think I mean pierogies tomorrow. It is decided. Can I borrow your car this week? Do you even have a license? I mean, no, regardless, but do you? No. Make sure to share pictures. Oh, they're just like frozen fucking Auntie B's pierogies. There's nothing special. There, I, I got some fresh ones at Costco the other day. They were like refrigerated instead of frozen. I said what I said. They were pretty good. Like two months ago. Check out Flair's epic YouTube channel to level up on streamer bot knowledge. Bam. Sub now. History repeats, which has been in a loop since we've been living in caves. Yeah, that's science. Okay, down ski. No. I already was down ski. See, sometimes it like. What's going on here? <laughs> Second meeting of the Possum Springs Poetry Society. Do you want to stick around for this? Yep. I 
want to join a club or something. It's a good idea. I need friends to hang out with IRL. You could find uh, your friendly local game store and join a D&D &D &D group, but the type of people that don't have a group of actual friends to play with and continually play at stores are usually like weird incel neckbeard types. Because um, usually people will play a couple games at a store and then find people they click with and then never play at the store again anymore. <laughs> And the people that continually play there never get invited to those games. I don't have it in me to join another campaign right now. The subject of my story is I had some friend back home when they asked about life out here in the sticks. It's you. I worry. At the end of my life, you'll be the only one I remember. Why did you key my car? I know it was you, Brian. I was considering a book club, but I've been anxious about it and not made any progress Edward towards Bob it. Remembers. Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones has a poem for us. Two. Two poems. They're short, though. Two poems. Take it away. Uh, hi, folks. Thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. Tunnel eels, tunnel eels, I do not know how it feels to be in darkness all the time, born in muck and raised in slime. But neither do you know paths I've trudged, so hardly is your place to judge. Okay, that's one poem. The next one is shorter. This is called Tunnel Frogs. Tunnel Frog swims in the dark. Must think it would be a lark to be a fisherman like me. But what do you know, amphibie? <laughs> That's it. That's great. Thank you, Fisherman Joes. Dude is really worried about what fish think. <laughs> he definitely talks to the actual fish. Oh, most definitely. Finally, a poem by Selma and Forrester. Yay, Selmers! Thanks, May. You know her? Dude, she's like your neighbor. Oh. She writes these really funny, dorky, short poems. I'm up for something short and funny. This is called, There's No Reception in Possum Springs. Ha <laughs> ha She's not wrong. <clears throat> no reception here. I wave my black phone. In the air like a flare, like a prayer, but no reception. I, re I read on the internet, baby face boy, billionaire. Phone app sold, made more money in one day than my family over 100 generations. More than my whole world ever has. World warehouse buying jobs become rent paying jobs become living with the family jobs. Boy billionaires. Money is access. Access to politicians waiting for us to die. Lead in our water. Alcohol and painkillers. Replace my job with an app. Replace my dreams of a house in a yard. With a couch in the basement. The future is yours. Forced 24-7 entrepreneurs. I just want a paycheck and my own life. I'm on the couch in the basement, there in the house in the yard. Some night I will catch a bus out to the west coast and burn their Silicon City to the ground. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> wow, damn. She rhymed entrepreneur. I don't even know what that word means. Thanks, everyone. Is she always like this? No. Wow. Huh. Thanks, everyone. See you in two weeks. Hey, Selmers. What? I liked your weird poem. Thanks, I wrote it myself. Wait, was that an assumption that she didn't write it herself? Was that the assumption that she didn't write it herself? Nice work, Smeller. I don't like that nickname. What are you two? Sorry. It's cool. Can we go now? A blueness, a eunice, a dankness, a thankness. I got an achievement. I think it's because I humored her with her poems all the time. Right, so, find out anything about your ghost. Yeah. Tell him, B. There were some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost. Little Joe. I don't really remember Little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. 
I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were like afraid of this ghost, like filled with dread. Bob shit. remembers. I'm terrified. Okay. So it mentioned three different places we can all check out. Uh, I have work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have work. You guys skip out on work all the time. Maybe we can like split this up, share custody of you and your ghost. What places were you thinking about? Uh, the graveyard. I call that one. It's close and not illegal. Is there an illegal one? Sure is. The historical society. You know, you don't have to like break in. The people there like get paid to show it to you. Anyway, I'm in for the historical society. Awesome. So what did I get stuck? That's with? awesome. Possum jump. I know possum jump. We used to go there in scouts. Perfect. Okay, I need to actually get home and do work. This is going to be awesome. And also, I'm scared to death. That's awesome. All right. Let's talk to Dad, watch some TV. Erg. Yeah, seems like that's going around. The erg. Yeppers. So, uh, you and your mom had a bit of a fight yesterday, yeah? Yeah. Thought you two were getting along. We are. Just a bump. You two. Always two alike, I guess. I got your chill and her smartness, smart assness. I just hate to see you two on the outs again. It'll be fine. We're cool. So we're having money problems? What? No, we're fine. Dad. May, it's fine. It's okay. I'm 20. I can handle it. Nothing to handle. Okay. Might just head up to bed tonight. Sounds good, kid. Been a long couple days. Bing, bing, I'm so bing. chilled out right now. <laughs> nice. Me too, honestly. Let's check the bookcase. There's always some. Well, there is often something at the bookcase. Birds this schmoozing. This game is great, and I have my game up too. I'm a big fan of this game. For sure. Hey, let me know when you want to hit the cemetery. I should be around most nights this week. Thanks. I don't know. Thanks, B. Don't thank me too hard. I'm going there anyway, and it's like right down the road. You're ruining this. Okay, in that case, you're so incredibly welcome, and also you better not forget this big favor. It's more like it. I'm falling asleep. Had fun tonight. Sorry if I was grouchy. Just, just, just. It's fine. Wait, did you fall asleep? LOL. Yo, I looked up the historical society on the internet. It's real old, but then they did big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but old stuff that just gets torn up seems like ghost central. You're a ghost hanging out in an old house, and then someone puts in a pool where you died or something. Haunted pools would actually be pretty scary. I'm spooked. I'm going to bed. Hey, May. Let me know when you want to go to the park. I looked up a map, and it's pretty straight shot up to Possum Jump. Okay, great. We never really get a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. Tips hat. Born to lose. Country trash proud. Drummer. Skate and destroy. Skate to create. Bound for glory. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. Bedtime. It's going to be one of those weird dreams, I bet. Glitchy Bastards gives Flair a high five. What up, Glitchy? That's 35 times now. Uh -huh. glitchy. Here we go. Holy shit. All right. Big weird fish.
Ooh, starting with accordion this time. Very nice. I got uh, yeah, tuba and accordion was the, were the first two. It's great. I want to get across there. Ah, whatever. Let's just go across the bottom first. I don't. I don't need that shit right now. In random ghost sounds. Good grief. This game is so cute, but I'm also getting like starting to get kind of spooked by it, and the ghost sounds are like really fucking damaging my calm. <laughs> <laughs> That's their intent, though. Need to go up, up, up. There we go. Get away from me, fish. I didn't ask you. Here we go. Does the fish do anything if it touches you? I don't know. Nah. Apart from the big startle. I got three, got three of the instruments. I need one more, and then I go back to the center. I don't think this way does anything. Saxophone. Yep. Turn. Okay, there's the center. I bet it's up here. Can I get on this? Nope. Oh, fart. That was a big fall. <laughs> Fuck. Alright. No big deal. Big oof. Folks in chat, fancy a fun-filled follow fest? There we go. Feel free to follow Flair's Fab channel. Remember, follows are anonymous and adored. I think that's the fourth dream sequence. I bet that's the last one. Maybe not. Mm -hmm. Right. Last night inspired me. For the longest night, I'm getting you a library card. You're welcome. Dude, my mouth tastes weird this morning, like a tire. I'll be at work trying to wash it out with whatever's in the cooler. Away message. Planets are to be pitied as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Dr. Kathy Conklin, Nat National Astronomy Agency. 
Alright, fine. Go see if mom wants to talk. Check the bookcase first. Hey, bird. Sorry I'm always rude to you. Morning, sunshine. You feeling okay? You look a little limp. Yeah, uh, weird dream. Weird night. You say weird a lot. Just being honest. You talking headache meds? They're in the bathroom cabinet. Yeah, I am. They're kind of working. Kind of not. Well, maybe you need more sleep. I mean, more than the ten hours or so you already get. You've always been my sleepy girl. Oof. What did you do last night? Went to the library with B. That sounds nice. It was... weird? Interesting. Okay, gotta go. Be safe, hon. Take it easy. You really look a little tired. Getting out makes me feel better. Me too. Maybe it's a good day to get out in the fresh air. I'll let you know. Bye, sweetie. Usually she has something else to say. Nice and sunny today. I hate rainy days. Just want to never leave bed. I love them. Nice and gray. Sun's too bright sometimes. Need some cloudies. Alright, I'm out. Bye bye, sweetie. Okay, can I go this way? Yeah, this is how you get to the library. Or something. Something? Wait, was there... Farming. I could farm. If I stay in town long enough, I could see getting into the farm life. The problem with farms is the amount of poop. Like, even if you don't have animals, you actually buy poop or something and shovel it all over the place. It's madness. It's poop madness. Bridge freezes before road. Possum Springs. After this, a few miles and you go and you're into the highway. And it's just rolling fields and farms. I miss the corn mazes this fall. And the haunted barn and brittle. Always next year. For campfires and corn dogs. You're not lost. You're here. <laughs> Alright. I had corn dogs for dinner. I like a good corn dog. Do you eat it with mustard? Are you a traditionalist? You know, ketchup. What? All right, fine. It's the first, the first food-related thing we disagree on. I think, not Meg. <laughs> Hey, Selmers, you were great last night. Ah, oh, thanks. Having you to bounce ideas off helped. I'm good for that. Want to hear a new poem? Yes. This is a short one, because I'm tired. Me too, so that works out. Ahem. I like mustard good enough, but it's just too much sometimes. I got mad one time. It was online. I've been mad on the internet before, too. It's crazy making. What were you doing at the library? I go to the library. No, but seriously. Alright. I want to talk to the astronomy guy, first and foremost. I play a mean banjo. Claw hammer. Really? I play bass. We should play together sometime. You know Long Black Veil? Vale? Yep. You know Tom Dooley? Yep, my dad likes that stuff. You know Willer Garden? Nope. Eh. Alright. One, two, three. He's not up there. I don't think I've ever read this plaque before. Arnold A. Applebaum, a father to all workers, a grandfather to their children, a great grandfather to those children's children. Keeps going like that for a while. Erected in 1910. Ar Arnold Stockerbaum. What's this dude? Come here.
I wonder if the squirrels ever steal undies. Hey, little girl. I'm a legal adult. Oh, sorry. Who are you? Liz, I used to live here. Where? This building right here, before you were born. Why did you move away? Went to school, wandered off, I guess. Do you like it better where you live now? It's nice. Possum Springs is nice, too. I think it's all right. It's all right. Yeah, pretty all right. When I was a girl, about your... I'm 20. Height. I used to lay awake at night, worried that statue would come to life and climb in my window. Oh, geez, that's spooky. You never want someone hanging out around outside your window. Not magical evil statues, though. Yeah, nothing evil or magic should get that close. I live in the attic. No one can get to my window. That's good. Not even vampires or warlocks or skeleton men. I'm glad we had this talk. Me too. See ya. Yeah, I'm the same way uh, with ketchup. Nutmeg. I, I like it in some circumstances, but generally... I like it on a burger with other stuff. Sometimes on a hot dog, but generally not. Uh, generally, I would prefer mustard. On a hot dog, I prefer to go Chicago style. And just go nuts. If I'm having a hot dog, though, I like the works. Ketchup, mustard, relish, and if available, I'll take sauerkraut and or onions. Yep, that's all good. I bet some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. I love I like, sauerkraut. I like sauerkraut. One of my go-to staples for dinner is um, I'll make some kind of potato, like mashed potato or like smashed potatoes or something. And then sauerkraut with apples and onions in it. And then sausages. Bangers and mash with sauerkraut. It's good for you too. Fermented, eating some fermented food here and there somewhat regularly is good for your gut. Good for your belly bioma. Is that Mr. Salvi? What are you doing in a boat in the tunnel in the late afternoon? Okay, my favorite thing is pork chops cooked in the oh, sounds pot. good. You add apple, I actually have pork chops on the menu for this week. Sauerkraut. But I do like a instant pot pork chop gravy thing. What are you doing home from school? I guess Yummy. I kind of dropped out. Oh, dear me. Yeah, sorry. Why are you apologizing to me? You know what? I do have a thing of sauerkraut. Maybe I can serve sauerkraut with the pork chops. That's a great idea. Salvi salvage. I'm a junk man, May. Are you not mowing lawns anymore? Oh, no. I'm still doing the landscaping, but I'm also a purveyor of fine goods for the discerning antique enthusiast. Ah, side hustle. I see. You want to come along? Boat right back into the tunnel? gonna be a short trip today but might be fun um sure it probably isn't smart it's pretty safe i just need a second pair of hands usually i take one of the kids over there hey teens i'm going on this boat now just saying like if anyone should ask i got on this boat with mr salvi here okay thanks i've been told i inspire a lot of food related ideas Mainly because I talk about food all the time. Works for me. I made chicken, like Mexican chicken Caesar salad. It was like I made a marinade with cilantro and lime and olive oil and roasted garlic. And Ooh, I used I used so part good. of it to marinate, and then I used part of it to make guac. And I used some of the same stuff and made guacamole with it. And then I saved the rest for dressing. And then the guacamole had roasted onion in it as well. And it was it was pretty good. I used a little bit too much lime, so it was pretty zingy. I am kind of obsessed with Caesar salad right now. 
I love Caesar salad. What am I supposed to do here? Do they know it's garbage? Whee! This is garbage. It's an island of garbage. Your garbage is my priceless antique. Once it's cleaned up a bit, look around, find something. Is this thing safe to walk on? Oh yeah, years of sediment and rocks and junk. Haha, ha, you call it junk too. A tennis racket? An axe. Huh, big axe? Do I want a big garbage axe? Yes, it's so big and axy. Oh wow, it's a thing. A sled? A really bad boat? Maybe you like sleeping it? Tiny garbage hammock? Should I take this garbage bed instead of the garbage axe? No, we want the garbage axe. Eh. Find a good killer garbage axe. Oh, nice. Looks like an old fire axe from somewhere. Axe murderer garbage axe. Yes, you can conceivably murder someone with this. Have to sharpen it first. Oh, I'll sharpen it. <laughs> Planning on murdering someone? I keep my options open. Oh, dear. And somehow he'd run over his own foot. No! With the mower. Ah! Yeah, he's got a limp now. But he still comes to work. Jeez. Gotta work. Oof. Okay, so remember how I said I needed a second pair of hands? Oh yeah, what was that about? So there's a little panel back where you are gonna need you to use it and move this light up here yeah I I'm already doing that sir we got bats down here so I don't like bats but bats like bugs and bugs like light so you're gonna shine that light around and get them to scatter hi at flare hey Whoa, there Marie. Mary Acostin. welcome to the stream where the fun never ends how's it going coming up on a place okay gotta shine the light at the bats Wow. Did most of them leave? I think so. Sure were a lot of them. Ugh, I hate them. But bats are cute. They are not. Can I take a bat home? Ain't no bat getting on my boat. I'd sooner swim back than have a goddamn bat on my boat. Okay, okay. <laughs> no bats. No bats. I love bats. It's going well. How are you liking this game? I am loving it. It's great. I have a purse shaped like a bat. That's funny. So far, so good. I feel like I'm making, like, not the best choices all the time, but it also feels like it doesn't matter that much. I know there's, like, an achievement-type grind where I'm going to have to probably play, like, several playthroughs, and I may do that. I do enjoy it. Probably will only do the one playthrough on, on stream. There once was a chat with much sass. Come join Discord, won't you? Alas, click on the link. Don't stop to think. Join Flare Circle. All right. Raise a glass. Beer mugs. Oh my god, it's a coconut monkey. Like the one granddad brought back from Hawaii. Do I want this coconut friend? Maybe. And nutmeg roll realistic or cartoon? Holy shit, Dracula teeth. These are so rad I can totally be a Dracula. Of all the false teeth in the world, Dracula teeth are the best. Excellent Dracula teeth. Blah! Yes. Should probably clean them first. Ooh, I'd say somewhere in the middle. It's a big purse, so it's definitely not to scale. I can post a link in Discord. Find anything good? Dracula teeth! Oh wow, I remember these. They still make them. <laughs> Now there's a market that never now there's a market that'll never go away. People will always want to be Draculas. Excuse me. No choice. I'm gonna put these in. Oh god, please don't, they're disgusting. Gonna bite ya. Alright, let's keep going. Blah Are you still into Hunt Showdown at Flare? Oh yeah. I play almost every day. 
I Claire, am. Where should I post this link? Oh, anywhere. Put it in. What is it? First, put it in like. There's like an IRL. There's a section for like photos and sharing, and then there's like an IRL channel. Selfies and IRL? That's the one. KK. Um, yeah, I still play Hunt all the time. I played one game today. Oh man, I played a game today and I was. There was someone fighting boss in the lair and I was like sneaking up on them and they started like howling like a wolf over the proximity chat like really well like very very good very good job and then they were like little hunter with a bow come get me because they could hear my bow and they were just taunting and it was like really ah, that's weird it was and they had like a east like an eastern european accent it was like very it was funny, like though. i knew this guy it was like an experienced hunt like why were they in my lobby and i like it was like, it got my heart rate, because right? they knew where I was. They were like, come and get me. They were just hanging out in the lair, taunting me with... Were you no, accidentally on Russian I was on like East, me? but... Who knows? It was, uh, it was very creepy, and then eventually they killed me. <laughs> I, I got sick of like trying to sneak around and I rushed in and I didn't see him so I rushed back out and they were waiting outside and killed me uh, but then I had necro so I just waited them out for them to extract and then got up and left I just played one game and that was that was my one game today it was so weird Did you ever watch that clip with the tooth fairy thing I yeah. sent? <laughs> yeah. I was expecting a longer clip. It was pretty funny. I, I, have, I haven't seen that actual show, but I've seen so many clips from it, and I need to watch that show. I like the, the one guy from, like, he, did, he was the DM for, like, Dimension 20 or whatever, which I also haven't watched, and everybody recommends. Oh, my God. It's so funny. But I've seen Brennan so many Brennan Lee Mulligan, yeah. I've seen so many clips of that show, and I need to just watch it because it looks so good. Old trolley car over here. Yeah, we're getting close to where the flood really hit hardest. I can't imagine this place still up and running. It was it's quite excellent. something. I had a sense of going somewhere. Like a new who's line, kinda. Way back when they got these kind of new trolley cars, they were designed by some company overseas, big and fancy, like France or something. They are pretty. Yeah, they still got these charms. Gonna look around. Sure. Okay. I'm a huge oh, who's line how fan. Old this is. I watch those old soggy. compilation what videos all the time. What even is this? It's a sports mystery. The worst kind of mystery. It's pretty though. Do I want this thing? Nah. It's gross, and I don't care about sports anymore. Well, this is a sports thing. Oh, nice. Football, our official religion around here. I could totally wear this. It's functional. Oh, yeah. Whose line is great. Um, I love the episode where Robin Williams was on. Could probably stop a bullet. Oh, it smells man, inside, that's a good though. one. Do I want this thing? Uh, I want the weird mystery sports thing, I think. Nah. And he and Ryan both do Carol Channing. Yeah. Classic. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Let's go. Old hockey pennant. How old? Like, really old? Uh, 70s, 80s? Oh, that's like medium old. <laughs> All right. I like shows that make me laugh. There's already enough bad stuff in life. I just want to have a good time. Right. That sentiment exactly is why I have never finished Breaking Bad. Because I watched the first season, and then I was like, this show is stressing me out. And that's not what I'm here for. 
but now that I live where I live, I really should watch it. Because I live there. Exactly. It's part of the reason I don't like horror or true crime stuff. There's like Breaking Bad bus tours here. And I feel like I... I feel like I don't belong because I haven't watched the show. But I don't really want to watch it. That's intense. So I probably won't. I love horror, but hate true crime. I like horror when it's supernatural. I have pretty bad anxiety, so I just try to stay away from stuff that makes me feel icky. Um, because I can separate it from reality. I don't like horror where it's like... Psycho guy killing people because he's deranged or whatever, you know? Too real. I understand that flair. But if it's like ghosts and vampires and shit like that, I like it. Same thing with horror games. I played the first three Dark Pictures Anthology games because they were all supernatural, and I looked at the fourth, and I was like, nope, not playing that one. Serial killer nonsense. I think I can say the same, but maybe not 100%. I'm sure there are exceptions. <laughs> 20 year old they're just usually moving in one direction no one's really prepared for when it stops doing what it's always been doing this is taking forever this looks like something I dreamed the big one for me is dead by daylight for some reason it just doesn't bother me even though it's like murder why y yeah I, it doesn't that doesn't scare me. It's very... But it's also, like... Yeah, like, I used to watch, like... In, in high school, I watched a lot of horror movies. And I didn't care about... I didn't mind movies like like Halloween and stuff. And that's just, like... That's just, like, a killer guy. You know? But it was, like, still somewhat... Or Scream or... Whatever. Yeah. And I didn't I didn't didn't bother me. But like saw, like no interest. No interest in that movie at all. Horrible. They're so obviously fake. Or whatever, Saw Six or however many of those they made. Like no interest in that whole that I, I heard the premise and I'm like, nope. Pass. Too many Saw movies. Really old lock. Pretty neat key. Mm, it's funny though. My PFP nah. is from Saw, technically. Saw is so over the top it doesn't bother me. I am bothered when it's too realistic. Yeah. A tuba. Tuba. Yeah. And Saw Absolutely. 1 is pretty good just as a psychological thriller. Yeah. I just, I don't know. I'm just like, I'm just not interested. I know people love those movies. But. There's a. There are more movies to watch than I could watch in like 12 lifetimes. So I don't need to watch one that I'm not interested in. Good plan. Shame to leave it down here. You rescued it. I'm a hero. I'll call the papers. That's incredibly reasonable. <laughs> I'm nothing if not reasonable sometimes. Here we are. Did we come full circle? Is that what happened here? What? 
That's the other mural. It's so... Yeah. Basically the only here that survived the flood. I just think it's nice that it's not gone. Forgotten maybe, but not gone. Well, not forgotten yet. I wonder if in like 500 years some archaeologists will find it and wonder what it meant. Sometimes I think in 50 years no one will know what it meant. Places can't control how they're remembered. They just hang out and then fall apart. You okay, May? Yeah, I'll be fine. Bob remembers. I'm just gonna look for a minute. Take your time. I um, I think the most scared I ever was watching a horror movie was uh, the original version of the movie Grudge. It was called Juwan. It was Japanese. And there's that whole thing, I don't know if you watched the movie, but there's like the whole like creepy weird crawly girl up in an attic. And I was watching it alone in my apartment at the time, and my apartment had one of those attics that's like Um, not like the door thing that comes down, but it was just like a sheet of plywood up on like frames, like wood frames like kind of like door f door frame kind of frames and it's just plywood sitting on top of those and you push it up to get up into the attic but when it was really windy that piece of plywood would kind of get like sucked up into the attic a little bit and like go and then drop down and that shit was happening while I was watching that movie <laughs> and it was just <laughs> just it was just awful and excellent. Hell no, I wouldn't watch that. I dated a guy for a while who watched a few scary movies with me. I hated it and had a friend a few years ago that I went and saw us with and that shit stuck with me and I still think about it like seven years later. Yeah, it was, I, I was scared. It that was sounds like absolutely terrifying. I just got like absolutely ripped and went to sleep. <laughs> I like watched some, I put on some like, I put on all the lights in the house and I like made some, I was playing video games or whatever until I just passed out. Because I did like, and listening to like loud music so I couldn't hear the attic thing. It was awful. But it was like, I don't know, something about that feeling of being scared. If only I had a body. It's also kind of interesting. Bard on stage. Yeah, that's what you've got to do. Um, is this the? Oh, where's the? Ay yeah. For a while, I watched too many CSI type shows and ended up getting super paranoid. That's when I Ugh. stopped watching that kind of stuff. I never, I never watched any of those shows, really. I never had too much interest in it. The only one that I watched, well, the only one that's even remotely like that that I've watched was like, uh... I don't, I don't even remember. Oh, I watched some Bones. Hepbridge Farm remembers. You ready to go? Yeah, let's do it, Mr. Bear. I've tried a bunch of them, but it has to be with other people or I can't stick with it. Yeah, I watched a couple. I watched... I'm trying to think. I watched some some of Bones um, with my wife. I... I haven't really watched any other ones. I tried to watch Psych. I like the ones that are like, the ones that are like straight up true crime, like CSI. I don't, I don't, I'm not interested. I like the ones that have some kind of quirk. Bones is so good. I tried to watch Castle just because I like, um, SVU was one What's my his college name? roommates watched constantly. From Firefly, but um, just couldn't get into it.
Brendan Fraser? <laughs> um, oh, I can't think of his name. Fuck. Guy that plays Malcolm Reynolds in Firefly. Nathan Fillion. Nathan Fillion, yes. I mix them up for some reason. <laughs> Nathan Fillion. <laughs> Brendan Fraser. <laughs> That's funny. I like Brendan Fraser too. Completely unre unrelated, but. Listen, shut up. <laughs> Fair enough. I've always liked Ben Brennan Fraser. I think Encino Man was probably the first thing I saw him in. It may be the first thing he was in. It's the marijuana. My brain is melting. Posted. Do not feed or touch the wildlife. Well, clearly. There's some folks living in cabins up here. You can uh, feed and touch them if you want. It's a weird old place up here. There's all kinds of weird stuff back up in the park. Old stuff just hanging out in the woods. We'll hit my old scout camp on the way up, I think. Busy woods. Okay, better get going before it gets dark. Can I go up the hill? No? I like the design of the trees. Yeah. The art in this... The art and the sound design... Everything about this game is wonderful. The story's good. The characters are good. It's just so well done. You all right? Yeah, I got asthma is all. Sorry you got away from me. Didn't you run cross country back in junior high? Do you have an inhaler? Yeah, but I saved that for emergencies. Being slow isn't an emergency. What is this thing? This is like a lime kiln, I think. Limestone. You like do something with it in there and it becomes this other thing. Limestone's weird because it's mostly made of skeletons of sea creatures from millions of years ago. So like, this was all underwater or something at one point. Whoa. Like right where we're standing, there were like ancient horrible sea monsters. <laughs> Creepy and awesome. That's history. Okay, I'm ready to go. That's awesome. Here's another one. Excuse me. May is so bouncy. Yeah. Puff puff. Phew. Need to take a break. Okay. Okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Huff huff. So if this place was underwater, why aren't there like ancient shark bones up here? I don't know. There might be, I guess. But not everything becomes a fossil. Why? I don't know. I'm not an expert on any of this. I'm no doctor. <laughs> right? <laughs> there are definitely ancient sharks around here weird because things are so boring nowadays. I think all that crazy stuff was going on here. LMAO <laughs> yes, I'm no doctor. There's always more weird stuff that happened to find out about later. Okay, I'm ready to go. It's like when you find out in a game that jumping makes you go a little bit faster, then you just have to like be a fucking freak and jump everywhere. I can't not do it. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Sorry. Seriously, oh, it's fine. Oh, I do it even when it doesn't make me faster. Hang for a minute. Okay. I should know all this stuff about, like, ancient sea creature rock or whatever. Lime. Stone. I was going to take a class on dinosaurs I back I do it school. if it slows me down. I'm a jumping maniac. What happened? It was all full up. That class fills up fast. I bet. Dinosaurs are, like, the most interesting animals. You knew they had feathers, or some of them? I know, right? Big freaky chickens. Things are so scary and cool back then. We'd die in like five minutes. Oh yeah, ancient creatures would eat us no problem. Be glad for the millions of years between us. Weird. Time, dude. Time makes most dangerous things less dangerous. 
most things at least. You ready to roll? Yeah, we're almost to the top. Yep, yep, hi! Oh, now it's like dark. Well, that was a hike. That was a lot easier when I was 11. We passed, what, three gates on the way up here? I lost count. Weird. It used to be open back then. Ready to go. Ugh. Not far now, just up ahead. You stop? Graves, huh? Yeah, these were... I forgot. They were involved in the Possum Massacre. That, like, labor strike thing. Where it was like the Miners versus National Guard. Happened back in town like a hundred years ago. Why are they up here? I think these were some of the bad guys and some of the miners. Didn't want them buried in town. Oh, there's like a few old graveyards up here from like colonial times. I guess there's one up here somewhere oh, too. Ghost. Spooky. That's spooky. Eh, just bones. Ancient shark bones. Yeah, see? Nothing left to be scary. Wow, we're up really high and really far out. I, can, I can't see town from here. It's south of us, behind whatever ridge that is. So what, are we supposed to just wait and see if anything happens? You tell me, you're the expert. I guess we'll just wait here and see if anything happens. <laughs> nice night. Yeah. Back at school, I couldn't see as many clouds. That always made me sad. Oh, yeah, they're really nice up here. I wish I knew the constellations like you did. What? You know all the names and all the stories and stuff. I wish. I could never remember them other than... I think that one up there is like a bell or something. No, 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 no. Remember that time we were at the Longest Night Bonfire? And we spotted all the constellations together and you told us all about them? That's not a thing that happened. Oh, wow. Maybe it was like a dream or something. God, I barely remember now. I wonder what fake constellations and stories you dreamed of. Bridge Farm remembers. Okay, humor me. I'll find the constellations and you tell me about them. Okay, then. Alright, find me some constellations. Wait, are these going to be real ones or fake ones? Just ones I remember. Or dreamed that one time. Uh, whichever. Remember Mr. Jazakov? Yeah, science teacher. He Hepbridge lives under Hill and remembers. has a telescope on his roof. I totally saw some stars through it. That's Telescopes awesome. are cool. Alright, here's one. It's a pope. He breathes fire. <laughs> oh, this one is real. <laughs> or at least the dude is. Rubello. There's a statue of him outside the church. We never went there. Did your family go to church? Do you not know your saints at all? Nah, none of my family were into it. My saints were all like astronauts and authors. Star watching is so peaceful. Well, hello up, there. Girl? GN Zero LL girl. Ready to kick some virtual butt today? My Let's mom go. works up at the church now. I haven't gone really since I was like 14. She pretends not to mind. Alright, we got another one right here. It's a cat. He's got arrows sticking out of him, and he's chasing a diamond. Oh, I know this one. I don't remember his name. He lived, uh... You remember the stories about the forest god? My gr granddad used to tell me Adina stories. Anyway, this cat was in there, like shiny things, was good at getting through the forest, was really good at stealing. And 
then when he stole a diamond from a king, he got arrowed to death, but he was slick enough that he jumped out of his body and became immortal or something. I can see so many more stars here than I could in the States. Yeah, I'm sure. There's a lot of light, light pollution here. Just like a really big one. Oh, this is like the snake. No, the bell. That's a bell. And in the middle is this eye. Oh, that's uh. I know this one like from prog rock album covers. I think the world ends when it rings. I think you die when it rings when it's looking at you. Well, crap. God damn. All right. It's a whale with like the mountains on. It's got the world on his back. Kind of a lot of responsibility. Did the whale consent to this? I think it just always was that way. Oof. I don't wonder why people made these up. I mean, like these specifically. Who saw a whale and was like, needs to be carrying something? They didn't know what the earth was. I don't assume everything is. A I don't assume everything I don't understand is a whale. You could start. <laughs> We're like way out here, huh? In the park? Yeah, I guess. Spooky. I don't know, it's pretty safe. And the stars are pretty. Lol, you could start. <laughs> so you don't believe in ghosts at all? Nah, I don't believe in ghosts or gods or psychic powers or anything like that. Not at all. I mean, there's no evidence for them. People have really tried. Did you ever? Yeah, when I was a kid. So, I don't know how much I've ever told you about, or how much Greg has told you, but I didn't have the best childhood. Why was it bad? My dad didn't like me. My mom didn't either. And like, um, you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, it's fine. My dad used to hit me a lot. My mom was probably worse. She, like, wouldn't feed me, which is why I really like cooking now. She'd, like, shove me into the pantry and slam the door really hard, and all the stuff would fall on top of the shelves. Oh my god, Angus. She'd lock me in there for, like, a day at a time sometimes, or overnight. So Poor I'd, like, Angus. try to develop psychic powers so I could signal the neighbors or unlatch the door didn't work as you might guess did you ever tell anybody i never did i didn't know i don't know why after a while i like started feeling guilty too for some reason like this was something bad i was doing like being abused angus that's not your fault at all you were a kid oh don't worry i know that now boy do i ever Question, can I go kick all of their asses? Like, I've got experience, I can F some shit up. Well, my mom is kinda old now. I still have to visit her sometimes. I have a brother, he's overseas in the army. My dad left like 10 years ago. So no, who, who knows where he is or if he's even alive. If he is alive, I don't wanna know about it. Angus, I just wanna give you a hug forever. Well, I was luckier than a lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't like... Anyway, it's your original question. Testing out my psychic abilities in the pantry made me really interested in both paranormal stuff and science, and I joined a skeptic society on the internet, and that kind of ruined me on a lot of other supernatural bullshit, and it gave me something to solve. Something you could debunk or know, I don't know. Saved me a little bit, I guess. Because when someone does all that stuff to you, it can make you do some bad things to yourself. Mothman. But anyway, yeah, no ghosts or God. So like, I feel like if I've been through that, I'd be more likely to want to believe in God. Do you believe in anything at all? Well, so like the constellations, I don't believe there's a whale out there, but I believe that the stars exist and that people put the whale there. Like, we're good at drawing lines through the space between stars. We're pattern finders and we'll find 
patterns, and we really like to put our hearts and minds into it, even if we don't mean to. So I believe in a universe that doesn't care, and people who do. I feel like a lot of people don't think they found God, but like God found them. Like when they were having bad times, like you did. God never did. I was completely alone in the pantry, but a few years later, Greg did. So like, the stars can stay up there and not give a shit about us, but this whale is pretty cool. <laughs> You're an extremely good and smart person, Angus. I really like that Yeah, line. I like that. I believe in a universe that doesn't care, and in people who do. Yeah, I like that. I try, but I'm no more than anyone else. Man, really poor like Angus. Angus. Angus is great. <clears throat> All the characters in this are, are wonderful. I should come out here more often. There's someone standing behind us in the trees. Uh-oh. Holy shit. What do they look like? Tall, wearing some kind of weird coat. Like a utility coat or something. Oh god, that's the ghost. I'm more worried about it being a living person standing in the woods staring at us. Oh god, oh god. Well, don't panic. Follow my lead. Hey there. This is spooky. Out for a hike? Nice night. He's not answering. That's a little hostile, right? That's definitely a little hostile. Hey, I know what you did. May know. I saw you. Okay, well, we're gonna run now. We need to get to the car. But your asthma, I got an inhaler. The good kind, too. No one in heaven or earth can stop me. Okay, okay, let's go. Deep breaths. In, out. All right. Rawr! Oh god, I don't like this. Alright. I don't know if that was the game or if that was one of my random ghost sounds, but... No. He's so fast. <laughs> Run faster. You okay, big guy? Yeah, I'll be okay in a few minutes. I'm resilient. So that was it. That was the ghost. Or... It was some weirdo who lives out there. They probably get lots of kids throwing parties back there. I mean, the party we went to where you threw up, that wasn't too far from there. Uh, why does nobody believe me? May, it's like every other explanation is more likely than ghost. Okay, fine, whatever. Sorry, grouchy, headache. That was scary. It's cool, it was. Oh, Kidoki. You look really worn out. Yeah. At least someone else saw it this time. Yeah. I need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do what? Always running and jumping around all crazy? I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. I didn't think I've ever been in shape. I used to be, but that was because of my job. New job doesn't require much like that. Okay, go to bed, you. I'm in a shape. Round. <laughs> Whee! Um. Nothing in the bookshelf. Start and round is a perfectly good shape. Yep. Oh, the vampire teeth. And the pennant. Where's the tuba? There's the tuba. And the axe. Nice. Alright. Doing bills and eating grilled cheese. What's up? Went to the park with Angus. How'd it go? It was fun until it was scary. How so? We totally saw the ghost in the woods. Really? Angus saw this? He did. Wow, okay. Grilled Hold on. I'm texting good. Angus. Angus is an annoyingly strident atheist. He doesn't believe in ghosts. Why can't you just take my word for it? 
hold on. Grilled cheese does sound good. He said it was probably a hunter. Ah, uh, okay, whatever. Sorry. For what it's worth, I don't not believe you. Thanks. You have a good time otherwise? Yeah, I learned a lot about Angus. He's had kind of a rough life. Oh yeah, he definitely has. Wait, how do you know about this? Because Angus and I have been friends since like 8th grade. Oh yeah, I forgot. You're not going to like the glue holding all... You're not like the glue holding all of us together. Angus kind of is. He's the common denominator. Me and Greg don't hang out. Huh. Angus is good. He is. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Talk to you later. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, hey. Did you and Angus have a good time? Did he not tell you about it? Yeah, it was great. Till it was super scary. You guys saw a weird creepo, huh? Yeah, it was the effing ghost again. Hold on. Angus is thinking it was a hunter. Buck season starts in like two days. Oh, what the hell? Put him on. K -k 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 -k. Hey, May, this is Angus. Dude, you saw him with your own eyes. I mean, we saw a guy who was being weird, but there are folks that live up there in the park, and there are hunting camps and stuff, so it was most likely a guy out hunting buck early. Dude, I, like, felt it. I know. I don't know what to say about that. I think all three of us were spooked. Okay, fine. Thanks for going and being brave and stuff. Anytime. I had fun. You can put Greg back on. Hey, 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 dude. I'm an artiste. What are you... Were you doing art just now? Sure was. Alright, off to bed. Night, dude. Hey, mate, this is Greg. You and Angus are talking on my computer. Oh, hey, I'm Angus, so... Oh, hey, I'm Angus. I'm so smart. Have a great ass. Blah, blah, blah. You two are talking a lot. Hold on. I'm drawing him a dirty message in the paint program. It's a dick with his hat on it and smiley face. I don't even know what it be. Looks like you two are wrapping up. Peace out, yo. Hey, May, it's Angus. You and Greg are talking. I can attest that this picture is kind of baffling. Good night. <laughs> Hi. Hi. All right. Are we going to have another weird, fucked up dream? I need to use the restroom and fill up my water. I will be right back before this turns into a whole thing Welcome, again. Welcome, ladies, gents, and envy friends. Let's have fun. I don't want to quit. I just want to pause. Grilled cheese is a classic comfort food, oozing with cheesy goodness. I'll be right Perfect back. Perfect for a quick, satisfying bite. Enjoy. Peabot, should I even bother trying to read more tonight? Go for it. Dive into the pages and let your mind wander through the words. It's a journey worth taking. All right, bet. Which of the seven books I'm in the middle of should I read? Ladies, gents, and envy friends, check out Flair's blog. Ask to see their bot. Go for the one that grabs your attention the most right now. Follow your reading mood. Happy reading, nutmeg roll. <laughs> it's not particularly helpful, people. <laughs> hey, Flair. Hope you had a relaxing break. Ready to jump back in? Iron flame it is. Ooh, floaty.
It's getting more zoomed out. Oh, brother. Hello? Can you talk? Yes. For some reason, you're the first thing here I've thought to talk to. <laughs> oh, dear Lord, that freaked me out. Are you God? No. Oh. So, seconds ago, little creatures are coming, and they are asking if I am God. And I am asking what God is, and they are telling me. And I am not this God, and this God is nowhere. Just a giant cat with glowing eyes. Nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah, no, nothing to see here. Well, you can't see God. You are seeing what you are wishing, little creature. So what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? What are you? What are those other giant animals? Have I been seeing ghosts? There were like bits of the world. I think I was on a train, but it was like a town. It's all... Ugh, I lost it. Okay, so a great beast is walking through the sands and they are climbing into the air and now they are making a tear and now they are gone and now you are here a tear or a tear hard to tell a tear with their hooves they are making a tear little creatures are wandering through the air and they are dragging in places and echoes of lives I think and they are asking me about God my head hurts I'm going to tell you something little creature you are swimming further and further out to sea, and beyond are things blank, blind and terrible, and I am showing you now. Unnecessary. Ah, oh god, oh god. They are blind, but they are seeing you, and you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. That's a big old note for me. I am climbing into the air and closing the sky. Closing the sky? Yes. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything, and it is always growing. Between the stars I am seeing it. It is coming, and you are not escaping. And the universe is forgetting you, and the universe is being forgotten. And there is nothing to remember it, not even the things beyond. And now there is only the hole. <laughs> So, does Every anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. What about trees in the fall? What about leaves? Bare existence, meaning nothing. You are atoms. And your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are a monstrous existence. Uh. Excuse me. Then why am I here? God damn it. Why was I chosen to see all of this? Where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again. And the universe is forgetting you, and I am remembering you, but not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago. The end is moments away. There uh, is no my time other message didn't forget. send. I said it's too psychological Every for me. Before remembered. all is forgotten, goodbye, little creature. Yeah, it's got like real fucking heavy <laughs> a little weird nihilistic thing all of a sudden <sighs> all right <clears throat> so echoes ghost morning at the pickaxe if you're in town center today i don't even know why i'm saying this you're at town center every day anyway see you later hey dude at the old snail con come say me from boredom supreme sincerely gregory away message planets are to be pities they cannot know how big and cool they are Dad, kathy conklin national astronomy society this guy's away message still is the same yep <laughs> Fucking sharky. Alright. Go talk to mom. Wait, first we'll check the bookshelf. Nothing. Hi, bird. Kinda get you now. All like trapped and shit. I should let you out. 
นะฮันนี่ยูโอเคมอร์นิ่งส์อ่ะทัฟไรท์นาว์ are you pregnant no okay honey is that why you came honey no not at all sweetie you can tell me I've been there despite nature's intentions God came through and blessed us with you you were a miracle baby that's me a miracle after all the miscarriages we'd given up hope and then there was then there you were and here I am now so if you're pregnant I'm not pregnant I was not in a situation where pregnancy happens. Oh, okay, okay. I just want you to know that you can always come to us with this. Okay, noted. Can we talk about anything else? Sure. <laughs> The face. <laughs> you know, if you did have a baby, okay, <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I'm sorry. I get excited. I'll be back later. Love you. Love you too. Let's one more little chat. If I was a boy, if it was a boy, you could have named him Calvin. Oh God, Mom! If it was a girl, you could name her Trash Baby, Cordelia. <laughs> Why don't I just have the baby and hand it to you? Ooh. Okay, bye. I'm leaving. <laughs> my parents have started pressuring me about kids. Well, yeah. just my dad. That pressure sucks. I'm sorry. What was this way? Oh, it was like a bunch of nothing. <sighs> Let's see if Star Guy wants to do the thing. Let's see if he's there. Hey, May, you all right? Yeah, I guess. Why? You look like you went through the dryer on the wrong setting. Long week is all. You want to hear a poem? Cheer you up? Yes. Life goes on. It feels so long, but I report life is too short. Haha! -ha, here's another one. Life is great, but life is hard. Let's grill hot dogs in the backyard. Thank you, Selmers. It is what it is. Life can be fulfilling without kids too. Yep. I won't get into it any further on stream. Yeah, no worries. Everybody is entitled to their own feelings on that matter, for sure. I used to be pretty anti, as far as kids went, and then it kind of turned around for me. Aw, oh, that wasn't quite it. God damn it! <laughs> Honestly, I don't have a strong opinion one way or the other. Wish there was an easier way up there. I gotta go past the statue and then go all the way up over here, and then up, and then across the rooftops. May, Mister. Everybody's like, you look like shit, May. Big on kids myself, but I do feel strongly that kids should be wanted and loved. Yeah, the 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 main opinion that I have about kids is if you're not absolutely sure that you want kids, you should not have kids. agree with that. <laughs> I 
Adina journeyed to the frozen lake, how she traversed unknown faraway lands. I was very into Adina stories when I was a kid, so you must know what became of her. Yeah, how she in her quest turned her back on the sky, journeyed down into the earth, where stars were no longer over her head, and how she was never seen again. Yeah. For me, it's not I don't want them, but for so long, I wasn't even sure if I could have them that I convinced myself I didn't want them. Yeah. I can understand that. Gank has to be up for work in like two hours. I feel so bad. That's rough. I think I got one. Let's see. Look at this guy. Cole the Mountaineer. Cole. A guy named Cole once that's close. It is. So what's up with this guy? Cole was from Flatland. The Midwest. He took some overtime Yikes. this week. So his shift starts at 3 a.m. Whatever the Midwest of wherever he was from. One of my jobs out out of college was um, I was doing software for dis distribution centers, and we had a contract where we had a tw we had a twenty four seven support contract with this company where we had someone on site twenty four seven at a distribution center in the middle of nowhere outside of Baltimore, and. They would so they would send two of us out there at a time. Two people. Oh god, people that sounds rough. To cover a 24/7 contract. So we would work. They would send two of us out there at a time for two week shifts. Wow. And so I would work 14 days in a row for 14 hours a day cuz we had to have we had to split 24/7 and we had to have enough overlap to talk about what did what we did on our shift with the other person. So I would work 14, 14 hour days and I was always the young guy because this was, I was right out of college. So I would, I would always, I would always have to work the night shift. That so really I would, sounds just awful. I would start at 6 PM and work until 8 AM or whatever. And, um, I had like, I had like a girlfriend back home and like that job ruined that relationship for sure. Cause I was just never there. I was gone for two weeks at a time and then I was home for like a week or maybe two weeks. And then I was gone for two weeks again and I was up at night. So like it, it, it was just awful. But, uh, yeah, it was weird. I got, I, I was like totally nocturnal for a while. And then I would go, I would have a week, I would, I would go home and then I would, I would take like a day or two off and then I would have to work like a normal desk job. Working nights can be the like death nine of a to relationship five. emo. And, uh, yeah, you just have to be more flexible. But we were young and it was like, it wasn't fair to her and whatever. It was Honestly, it was a bullet dodged in hindsight. My dad worked nights for basically my whole life. It was really, really hard. He I ended bet. up missing so much. Cole returned home, complained that the sky felt heavy. He'd been up into the clouds and now they res rested hard upon him. When one leaves a place, one brings something back when what where one returns. One, one. That's all for the day. Excuse me. Alright. Let's go find. Plus, he owned a bakery, so if someone called out or didn't show up, he was the one picking up the slack. Yeah. Um, let's feed the rats. Oh, 
Oh, I still have a pretzel. Okay. I didn't feed the rats yesterday, I guess. Whoops. It's over here, I think. Right? Hungry baby rats. Where were the baby rats? We just become a new joins us, growing our joyful community. Together we thrive. Were they on this? I think they're on the next. Yeah, they're not on this scene. Then they're in the the next one over. Hope everyone is having a lovely night tonight. Hope so far, so good. How are you? Hey, Nanospaggle. Peabot here saying hi to you. Hope you're having a great day. Is this dude just standing here, not paying attention? Market house. I can go talk to B. I think the rats are... I thought the rats were on this screen, but how do I get up there? I forget. Oh, yeah. Here they go. Who's that guy again? <laughs> Up. The little paw gets me every time, man. I know, it's really cute. Are there four now? There's so many of you. Someday you won't need me anymore and you'll leave. Will I even recognize you on the street as we pass each other? I love you, Miracle Rat. Hope springs, rats multiply. That was the achievement I just got. Great achievement. Go check the church. So far, there's never been anything in the sanctuary, but. There we go. Population drain in this region. You have to know this place will never be full again. We have the space. We have people who need space. We have resources. We have poverty. We're not in some far off place or some big city. Right here. Right across the street. Katie, it's our number one job right now to bring business into town. Businesses mean jobs and jobs mean people. We have to do what we can get the attention of the market and having a half-dead church stacked full of bums. Thanks for your time. We'll see you tomorrow for the vote tomorrow night. Thank you, Kate. You have a good heart, Kate. Thank you all for coming. <laughs> Some days you need grace more than others. What's this all about? Was this all about Bruce? It, it was is whatever it's out of our hands now but there are better hands than mine anyway how are you me eh. eh. sounds serious i guess exact execute i've gotten used to the new mouse now i think i like it good um Go see if Bruce is still hanging out. Hey, Bruce. Can 
can you do me a favor? Sure. Can you tell Pastor Kate something for me? Sure. But don't tell her this till tomorrow. Can you do that? Sure. Tell her I said thank you. And I'm sorry I caused her trouble. But I'm not worth throwing away her job. She's the pastor after all. Folks need her. Why am I telling her this? Because I won't be there to do it. Gonna hop a train tonight. Headed east. Where will you go? I'm going home. Wow, really? Never gonna touch a bottle again. Never gonna lift a hand to no man again. Sit on my daughter's front porch, watch my grandbabies play in the yard. They'll all be there. Gonna get off that train. My kids are gonna be there. They'll have a sign they made. Nothing fancy. Poster board and markers. Welcome home, Dad. And I'll be home. That sounds great, Bruce. Yep, yep. You take care of yourself. You too, May. I'll be fine, you know. I'm an old hand at this. Maybe older than I should have ever got to, but I'll be fine. See you around, Bruce. Let's see if those doomy teenagers are here. Nope. They gone. That was probably some missed achievement for sure. They answered their question wrong the first time, and I'll never see them again. Well, from what I know, I still have one quest with each Greg and B regarding the ghost thing. There's so many things, like side quest type things to get sidetracked by. They did say you wouldn't see them again. Yeah, that's true. That is true. I'm gonna go straight to B if I can and see if she wants to do stuff. is off town center market house here we go all right B let's do the thing hey B hey you all right you seem down oh it's nothing stuff don't talk about it nah okay what are you up to today whatever you want to do oh her thing is at night shit going to a party all right so what kind of party is this um a jackie party what's a jackie party you remember jackie yeah she's intense she's serious about serious stuff she's a lot of fun otherwise didn't jackie have like a one woman band yeah trans world order give them hell t w o g t h it's actually really great she's got a great scream i'm sold Twog. Hey B, say it. Say twog. 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 Anyway, <laughs> this is a party. And Jackie invited me. Look at you. I'll go into secret parties and shit. They're not secret, May. Well, I wasn't invited. Okay, I invite you. You are now invited. Woohoo. We got like a 90 minute drive ahead, so. Jeez, this better be some party. Jackie parties are worth the trip. All right, I think I went here once in Girl Scouts to see some sort of longest night play. Yeah, I was there. Oh yeah, we were kind of stuck together back then. Why just why did you start talking to me? I was new in town and you seemed cool. That's it. You were smart and fun. What am I now? When you live in the middle of nowhere, all parties are far away. Yeah, you know, fun. It's like super shitty that you keep saying I'm not smart. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm mostly kidding. Mostly. You're not smart either. I was valedictorian of our class. Like that means anything in the real world. Sorry. Sorry. Alright, let's go. Papa tease. I'm kind of nervous about this. Stay close, alright? Nothing to be scared of down there. It's just a party. Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. Hey, Jackie. Hey, B. Oh, weird, it's May. Hi, Jackie. You brought May. Yeah, is that okay? Sure, it'll be fun. Come on in. It's a good one. Is there, like, dancing and stuff? The world is ending, May. Of course there's dancing. Cool. Okay. That's 
why you gotta take it seriously. Put your foot down. No fascists at this party. Right. You don't talk this shit out. You punch that shit out. You think that's best? Uh, yeah. Carry a knife and learn to throw a punch. We can't have no sense of humor about this shit. Mace works too. Mace against fascists. Hi, May. Yep, that's May. So where are you guys from? Suburban Bright Harbor. Couple of born and bred harbor rats. Wow, what are you doing here? Long story for both of us. I got time. Hold on. We're gonna get go yell at the DJ real quick. We know him. He's a total dink. Alright, I'll be here. They seem nice. This is very cool. No drinking, May. <laughs> okay, fine. You guys want to dance? Yeah. Can you dance, May? Can, like, anyone here dance? It's gonna make me dance, isn't it? Turns into Parappa the Rapper. like May combined with B. <laughs> There's a good one. Lots of weird arm movements and knee bending. <laughs> I think those guys are back over there. Oh yeah, should we go talk to them? Yeah, we should. I can dance. I never knew. I'm gonna keep dancing. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I don't think I've ever danced at a party before. Okay, we'll be like 10 feet away, within eye shot, and I'll watch you. <laughs> don't drink anything someone gives you. B, I know. No, seriously. If any, B, I'll be fine. Let's go, she'll be fine. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Take a deep breath and chill out. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do, Peabot. Dancing is easy. What's the big fuss? Hey, B. Oh, hey, May. This is Chris. Hi, Chris. Hi. Your friend B is pretty cool. Aw, oh, she's okay. You're laughing a lot. <laughs> Beatrice. That's like an old Dancing name. Like a book you read in second grade. You look. Yeah. Well, a book you liked? Like ghost stories. I used to be a big reader. I like ghost stories. My granddad died and left me an apple crate full. Sorry about your granddad. It's okay. It was years ago. B's mom is dead too. <laughs> Good grief. May, may stop. I'm sure everyone here knows someone who died. My dog died last spring and my house exploded because there was a gas leak from when my dad hit a line trying to dig up the dog we had before that because we were going to move and dad said he had to come with us. Wow. <laughs> Chris, what are you that's majoring morbid. in? Poli sci. Oh, that's cool. Are there a lot of jobs in that? Oh, I don't know. I just find it interesting. I feel like you have to be pretty materialistic to go into college just so you can get a job after. That's interesting because... Haha, <laughs> whoa, whoa. Check out Rich Kid over here. I'm gonna pay zillions of dollars to go to college just because something's interesting. B, B, I check this like dude Al out. I feel like Guy and May would be perfect together. You ever work a day in your life, Chaz? I interned at my uncle's firm, yes. Well, I bagged groceries. Okay. May, do you want to dance some more? Sure, you should go dance. Yeah, my parents own their own business, so... Want to go across the street and get some pizza? I could eat, and it's a small business. 
you'll speak their language. Get us free slices. B doesn't like spoiled rich kids. Chuck. I'll come along if that's okay, B. Yeah, let's go. Okay. B knows all about this. Super smart and responsible. She runs like the biggest store in Possum Springs. What even is Possum Springs? It's west, in the mountains. While well, rich kid over here is studying politicians or whatever. B's out in the real world, not like you college kids. May! What? I'm kind of over the whole college thing myself. B and I basically run Possum Springs. Except there's like a ghost or something. You two live in Possum Springs? Yeah, got a problem with that? Wow, you drove all the way here from Deep Hollow Country? Isn't that like two hours away? Why would you do that? Hey Rick, be here drove in from Deep Hollow. Are you not a student? Yeah. What? Yeah, I am. I'm... Ah. What was that about? I think she doesn't go here. So? Dude, I don't even know. What did you do? I was gonna ask the same thing. How in the world did you mess that up? She needs this. Now she's got knows where. Something happens to her. I will personally punch your teeth out. Okay, geez. You go down toward the river. We'll find her, make sure she's okay, and meet back here. Okay. Back in school, I always told B that you were an asshole, and I really thought that was true. And it's good to know I was right. Okay, okay. The roofs. Hey, move. What? Move it, goth dorks. No, I need to get up on the roof. You're not jumping on my car. I will end you right here in this pizza place parking lot. You F off. Don't tell me to F off. Don't tell me to cool down. Get away from my damn car. If you don't get away from your damn car, I'm going to run it over your damn head. Can you even drive? Want to find out, citizen? I'm going to call the cops if you don't move. If you don't move right now, I'm going to probably make you eat this entire car. And I can do it. I'd like to see you try. The last person I hurt physically, I hurt him very, very badly. Physically. Seriously, I'm about to... You're about to what? You know what? I don't have time for this. No, you don't. Move. I hope you break your spine. <laughs> Alright. Jump. 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 No? Can I not get on that rooftop? Okay. Jump. Jump. Can I get on the lamp post? No. Hmm. 
This is going on endlessly. Oh, there she is. B, there you are. Are you alright? Why did you run? This was my party. These are my parties. I come to these so I can feel normal for like two hours a month. This is a bunch of dorks in a basement. College is stupid anyway. Oh my god, you complete asshole. You will never understand this, ever. Do you know what I do when I go to sleep? I think, like, obsessively about going to college. Like, really, really think hard about it. And if I'm lucky, as I fall asleep, I dream about it. I have to dream about this. This thing you're so over already is, like, my wildest fantasy. Abby. Aw, oh, that is so sad. Goddamn right it's sad. When my mom died, my life ended too. I had to take over the business because I, dad had a complete breakdown. And the bills from my mom literally dying were so bad that we lost the house. The house I grew up in, gone. Some shitty family with their shitty kids live there now. Now we live in an apartment. As my dad wastes away, and like any idea I had of the future, this big bright thing just gets smaller and darker every time I wake up. From a dream about nights like tonight, and you can't get that through your thick effing skull. How could you not know this? I work hard, and I take care of what's left of my family, and my life is slipping away, and I'm trapped in that stupid hardware store at a stupid town. I'm just... doomed. Ah. You're not the only person stuck here, you know. You gave up the thing I can't have. I kind of hate you. I can't not hate you for that a little. You don't know why I had to leave. Oh, I'm sure it's a brilliant reason. You just sit there judging me. Have you ever even asked why I left? Yeah, first day you were back. Oh, right. So why did you leave? I don't know. My head is in pieces. Any answer I could give would sound nuts. All this shit going on this past week. Ghosts and shit. I met God. He was an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we're both trapped, but we're trapped together. Better to be trapped with someone else, right? Listen, I'm sorry. About, like... We're like the best available friends. What river is this? Red Winder. All the iron in the water turns the rocks orange. Must be weird for them. All the rocks on land do keep, keep colors, and the red river rocks all end up looking at them. So, like, actual question. <sighs> do you think we'd be friends if we weren't, like, stuck together in the same town? Like, we're stuck together in Girl Scouts? Like, uh, is this just what... What's the word? Proximity? I don't know. I honestly don't. My entire life feels like running after something that keeps moving away into the distance while I stay in the same place. And I guess proximity counts for a lot right now. Proximity. God same B. Do you want to go back to the party? Nah. We can come to another one sometime. I swear I won't screw it up. Well, you've done it once, so you should know how not to do it again. B, you should have told me about everything. I was embarrassed. My entire life is embarrassing. I'm more embarrassing than you'll ever be. You're stronger and smarter than anyone I've ever met. And you're not as big a total idiot as I act like you are. I'm a jerk sometimes, I know that. But you're a genuinely good person? I'll take it. The Fort Lucin Fish Fountain would say, What? Beatrice Santanello, we should, we should get burgers and shakes on the way home. Oh wow, a revelation from God. The good god, the fake one. All right. Let's go home. Home again, home again. What about... Oh, wow, are you okay? No. Okay, so what's going on? I don't think I can talk about it. You're going to have to start talking sometime, kitten. I wish I could. Why can't you... 
Where do you even start? It's just, I've been having these dreams, and I keep thinking I see a ghost. And I've had these horrible nightmares that feel really real, and I think something really bad is going to happen. I've been running around doing all this stupid stuff, and where is it all going? What even is my life right now? I think I patched up something, some stuff tonight, but like, everyone is on their way somewhere else. I had that big fight with Mom. And that's not even counting the money problems. Yeah. Money problems make everything worse, I know it. And I can't do anything about it. I don't even know if I could hold down a job. And how am I ever going to survive? And, and, and. Take a breath. Why don't you get some sleep? Can I just stay down here for a bit? As long as you like. Carbo and Malloy. Everything about the afterlife? I don't have a life as it is. Bye, Garbo. Is there someone there up there watching? Their thirst with a nice, cool glass. I just hope uh, anyone's watching at this time shows. slot. Meh, 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 meh. These are the big questions, Garbo. Don't get any bigger, Malloy. Are you a churchgoer, Garbo? Hey, the last time I was in church, they hadn't invented religion yet. Blair, Nutmeg Roll wants you to do some squats. You were making up as we went along. Okay, so we all think there's a god, right? We should have potlucks. Can't have a church without potlucks. You could, Blair, Malloy, but Nutmeg it would be... A wapa. Okay. Ugh. Haven't seen Ash in a while. Yeah, that's true. I wonder if I could summon him. <laughs> oh, stinky. Oh, stinky. I don't think it worked. Don't think so either. Bummer. Okay. We still have to do a mixed bag. We need to do more parties. You're very right. <sighs> Am I going to have another weird dream? Pickaxe, add at me, you know the drill. Snack falcony, work, 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 till I die, die, die. Okay. Pray to your bird god for my soul, bird. 
go talk to mom. Good morning. Feeling anybody for the other day? Sleeping a lot, but feeling worse. Oh well, I'm gonna make you an appointment with Dr. Hank. Jeez, mom, it's fine. It's very much not fine, hon. I'm an adult, I can make that decision. When you're here, you're still my baby, and I'm making you an appointment. May, hon, I'm worried about you. I'm okay, mom. Listen, I keep thinking about the money problems and the house, and I'm just so sorry. You, we wouldn't be in this situation if I wasn't such a massive screw up. I just want to fall into a pit and die right now. May, it's okay, really. We'll figure something out. This isn't on you to fix. I'm sorry if I made it seem that way. It's done and done, and we're a family together regardless. Please stop worrying about it. Okay, I'm gonna go. What is it you have to do? I don't even know, honestly. Oh, Han, please take it easy. Prescription headache meds. All right. Uh, let's go this way. There's like that bridge and... Chillin'. Okay. Anybody out here? Nope. Alright. To you too, May. I wanted to let you know we ran a test on that arm you guys found a few days back. Yeah, I thought you'd be interested as well. Arm belonged to a middle-aged man at medium build. He was dead when it was removed. Well, Hello, that Aunt means Warcop. doesn't mean anything yet. Just thought you'd like to know. You always liked detective stories when you were a kid. Okay, yeah, thanks. Wasn't no ghost involved in this, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, nobody believes me, I get it. Careful, May. Strange stuff going on. Alright, lady. Yeah. What up, Selmers? Jeez, May, are you sick? Nah, just tired. Why are you out running around? I'll get over it. Yeesh. Take it easy, neighbor. Can do. Want to hear a new poem? Yes. The stars, the stars, like lights on cars, drive across the dark and never park. It's true, they are like that. I got one ready for the longest night. Oh, longest night, longest night. Night so dark, but stars so bright. Nice. Thanks, I'm feeling festive. I don't think so, not recently at least. That Casey kid last spring, but he weren't a kid. Maybe someone else, but from another town. I'm sure I'll remember. You know I asked that, but didn't expect you to know. I read the paper. astronomy dude we'd go feed the rats maybe will tunnel fish be always there Will tunnel drain canal be bare? I would miss the tunnel fish to have them back would be my wish. Are they going to drain the tunnel or something? No, it's poetry, okay? I'm just making stuff up. Please don't listen. Check out Flair's sick YouTube channel to learn all about streamer bot. Smash that subscribe. I guess I'm done with the uh, pretzels. Okay.
fine. Anything down here? Ah, but the rats need sustenance. Right. Moving on to better things. I used to have a pet rat. They're so smart and love cuddles. That's nice. Go smelters. All right. Let's see if Greg has a thing. Hey, man. Rats are cute. How are you holding up? Got a splitting headache. Feel like I barely slept, even though I slept a lot. Jeez, you okay? I don't know. Can I do anything? Wake me up somehow. My brother had one too. Their hey, names were Nibbles wake up. and Bubbles. Nibbles and Bubbles. That's funny. So what are you up to today? You want to check out that historical society? All right. There we go. It's too bad you didn't get run over. It's too bad you didn't crash into a train. It's too bad your corpse didn't get eaten by scavengers. It's too bad you didn't get eaten by scavengers alive. So that's it, huh? Yep. Never been out here before. Me either. I thought you had. Who needs a plan? We're just breaking into an old house. Grimes. Yep. Looks kind of exactly like a haunted house. Like the one in the cover of that book, Haunting of Arbor Street. We have an Armor Street. Looking for a ghost. breath. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Found the basement doors. What? Stop yelling. Hey, what are you talking like that? If you say th instead of f, it's harder. For someone, for example, a ghost to hear that you're speaking. Hey, Fleur. I have no idea what you're saying here. Okay, we're trying to be stealthy, right? Okay, I get what you're saying. Thank you. I'm not going to do that. Okay, we're fine. Nobody's here. No lights on. Doors are locked. So how are we doing this? You're going to hold the flashlight. How are you holding up with the overtime rep? How goes the new season with spooky time? It's good. I... I'm hoping to finish it tonight, but I'm starting to run out of steam. Everything hurts. I'm exhausted. I need a shower. I'm sorry. Told you. All right, let's finish this. Also, watch my back. Basically, do both. Ooh, this is spooky. <laughs> Friggin'. Oh my god. 
I know I got like goosebumps right that for that from that. That was that was wild. I think so. That was dangerous. I didn't know owls attacked like that. <laughs> yeah, it spooked me too. That scared the bejesus I, out of me. I don't need the random ghost sounds right now. God damn. Jump scared. So we're in the basement. What are we actually looking for, by the way? The thing I read said sometimes when someone stays late, they hear weird things in something called the map room. Now, one time I was skateboarding outside of this, like, school, back in high school. Um, this school, it wasn't my school, it was like a school, like, kind of, like, a couple of towns over. And the school was surrounded by woods. And we were skating, and then we kept hearing this sound, and it was like, it sounded like screaming. You and know, we were, Flair, we were this getting... is your stream. You can turn off the ghost noises if you want to. No, it's it's an important factor of ambience when I'm playing spooky games. Um, and there was just this like sound that kind of sounded like screaming off in the woods, and it was just wigging us out. And... Um, we eventually just left because it was like just too freaky. And I got home and I was telling my dad about it and he's like, oh, you know what? There's barn owls. And when they make their noise, it sounds like screaming. And he played me some like video or sound of what they sound like. And I was like, yeah, that's totally it. It was, like, it was just barn owls. But it was like... It was, it was freaking us out. There's a bunch of animals who sound like people screaming. Yeah. You're being attacked by an owl. Alright, well, I can see, okay? Me too. Let's look around. Bum, 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 bum. There's an elevator. Elevator number three. Looks like it's not locked either. Elevator for miles. Are you gonna go? Are you gonna go? Why do I have to go first? It's your ghost. Okay, fine. It's not even real. What? Dude. What the hell was that? I don't know. Is someone here? No. Lights off. Doors locked. No cars outside. Okay, so... Do you want to go back? Do you have your knife? Yeah. Okay. Wait, is the assumption that I'm going to stab someone? Is that the plan now? No, I mean, just in case. I mean, the basement door locked behind us. Oh, right. Crap. Gonna have to find another way out too. Hold on, let me add that to the list. Map room, forbidden zone, find a way out. This is complicated. Crimes. Can I go down the stairs? Crimes. Huh? Crimes. A door. Oh, hey. Possum Massacre. Oh, nice. You remember this, right? Sorta. Not super well. Big explosion at the old mines. It could have been avoided or something. And then the miners went on strike because they were getting screwed and killed. And like it went on a while. And other mines and places joined up. Like to be. You messed with all of us. That's awesome. Yeah, the bosses and the governor. They sent in like soldiers and stuff because they're assholes. Some kid or something That's threw awesome. a rocket at one of them. And soldiers opened fire. Holy crap. Where did this happen? Northwest end of town. It's like a marker for it. Bosses are bad. Bosses are bad. Weird how we're all supposed to look up to, like, bosses. Just in general. Even bad ones. Yeah, I refuse. Extremely ditto. Is that the end here? Okay. Nothing weird here. Educational, even. I feel like we're getting smarter. My brain is too huge as it is, dude. Gonna pop. If that happens, I'm leaving your headless corpse here. 
Oh, Ronald, I'm going to open this room for the day. Uh, I say, this chap's brain appears to have burst. Bring them up, won't you, Ronald? <laughs> All right. Another elevator. Because why, would why wouldn't... Why wouldn't you need it? Is that elevator number four? Grandpa would be complaining about local tax dollars. Crimes. Crimes. All right. Going down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the stuff. It's an office. This is boring. Anything interesting here? Office supplies. There's a calendar. Uh oh. You can work with someone and not be friends. Mm, yeah. Maybe this room isn't so boring after all. No, it definitely is. Does it go up any further? You're kidding me. Elevator number five. Hmm. Locked. You got a paperclip? Of course not. Map room, forbidden zone, find a way out, find pliers, find paperclip. I think that's it. Spooky. Hey, it's my neighborhood and the highway. No ham panther. train. Why is the church glowing red? It's a little, little bit strange. Oh no, it's not the church. It's this place. That creepy noise again. In this room. Ah. Check it out. Toolbox. Repair guy must have left for the night halfway. Books and chat. If fun you find, follow Flare. Anonymous it is. No need to hide. Hit that follow button. Let's abide. Check out the boring office for the boring paperclip. This was the source of the noise, I guess. Wait, no. If it was making that noise, that means that someone was in here while we were walking around. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's maybe go. Let's see. 
I'm sorry, dude. Me too. I've never turned you in. Me either. Crimes. Crimes. Okay, back down. Get the paper clip. Other people go on weird ghost hunting adventures. And they're looking for like cool shit. Yeah, let's find a paper clip. Alright, so we got the stuff. Let's get that elevator up and see what. Could... Probably 12 more elevators. See what we can find. Okay, up. I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Ladies, gents, and envy friends unite, bringing joy tonight. Let's keep it clean, folks. No need to get the authorities involved. Hey Flair, okay. time to shine. Hope you're ready for some awesome gaming ahead. And break out of county jail with these skills. What are you going to jail for? Well, probably something like this. basement oh okay this elevator yeah so this doesn't make a lot of sense maybe like this elevator is for loading things for the map room and like they use the other one to avoid the stairs but even then dude none of this stuff makes sense doesn't look like whatever that is is following us down here whatever not whoever are you coming around on this ghost thing ghosts don't use elevators why? So a ghost can walk upstairs or something, but elevators are out of the question? So the question I have is, where does that one go? Okay. <laughs> Crimes? Crimes. Stairs? No? Okay. Okay, just gotta pick this in the dark. Stuck.
we can go back upstairs. Actually, no, we're just gonna get chased around in a circle, but what by whatever it is, whoever it is, dude. goes from the basement to the attic with no stops in between. What the actual crap. I'm him though? No. I found a window. There's a fire escape. God. What is this place? Forbidden Zone. Shit, dude, the elevator. Why do I know this painting? Dude, come on. He just went out the window. The elevator's coming back up. Okay. Good grief. No. Ow. Ghost security guard. Crimes. What the fuck? Fuck. Game just minimized. What happened? That's weird. <laughs> No ghosts here. Let's go. That was weird. That was like some meta. I don't know if that was like the game doing that on purpose or just like random. The game just minima minimized on its own. Do you have any idea what's going on? There's a, I have no idea. There's a ghost that's in my head. Like the night after I saw the kidnapping, or I think it was a kidnapping, I had this dream I barely remember except for this sound, this horrible sound, and this feeling, and I keep hearing it whenever the ghost gets nearby, and it's like someone rips open a hole in my brain. I know you guys don't believe me. It's not that I don't believe that something's happening with you. I just don't know that it's a ghost. Yeah, dude, there are like 50 better explanations for this. You have sudden stress migraines, and you saw something that freaked you out and makes you stress out. I get migraines. And May, you've gone through a lot of changes, and I don't know, stress does weird things to people. Okay, fine, fine, whatever. I'm going up into the woods. I know this thing is up there. I know what I saw, and if you don't believe me, that's fine. I'll go alone. You're really going to hide, hike up past the basketball court? It's late, dude. What do you all care? You don't believe me anyway. I'll go. 
Listen, I don't believe in ghosts, but I believe in you. Ah, dude. So let's go find your ghost. You please, with this link, oh, won't you I was fixing to say something like that, banter, but you said it so better. Neat. You'll find friends oh, to you greet, guys. and maybe even some cheesy cheese. It's not even ghost hunting season. Yeah, it's Buck. We're outlaws. Thank you for believing in me. Mostly, I just don't want you wandering around up there alone at night. Close enough. All right, let's hunt some ghosts. Haven't been on a night hike in a long time. Gotta listen for owls. <laughs> Why? No reason. All right, I got work in the morning. Let's go catch us a ghost. This seems climactic. How have I never been back up here? Fences work? Nah, people are up here all the time. I came here when I was like 12. What's up here? Just old junk and trees and animals? <sighs> what is it, B? Nothing. Nothing. I was praying. Wow. Really? Yeah, let's go. Can I still jump? Nope. Wait. What? I think I heard an owl. Oh, hun. <laughs> Greg got attacked by an owl bee. What? When? When we were breaking into that history place. I don't think they attack groups. Well, if I get mauled to death, I warn you all. I'll punch any owl that gets near you. Aw, thanks, Captain. Big dangerous Greg scared of birds. I almost died from that owl. The thing is going to be Casey or something like that. They're like lost friend Casey. Wow. Got to put all this stuff somewhere, I guess. You remember this when you were 12? Yeah, I was scared of it. How'd they even get all this back up in here? So old, so old, so old. Dude, hey, May. We should go back. This is stupid. No, it's fine. Ghost hunt. Woo, fun. getting spoopier what the huh oh my god no no ah hell he's awake already anyone got any juice no no guys 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 what lerv you knew this was gonna happen you know at the moment you screwed this whole thing up you know like you weren't on the other side of this before. It was a mistake. I own up to it. Lerv, this is you owning up to it. Aren't I allowed to make one mistake? One mistake? You left a goddamn arm in front of the click clack. Because you, God knows what's going to happen to this town. What was I supposed to do? It was your screw up. panicked okay and I was embarrassed think any of us want to do this guys we can figure something out nothing to figure out but but I got family Lerf, don't insult what us what in the heck you know you don't gotta worry about Jeannie, Jeannie and the girls they will be completely taken care of they'll never want for nothing he's not gonna budge with the legs sticking straight out ah hell Dave, Rick, Benny you guys you know me alright Dave you hold him You know we got no choice, and I'd appreciate it if you stopped laying guilt trip on us. <laughs> no, 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 no. 
Hold him still. No. Fucked up. Hold still. This will go easier if... Ah. All right. He's free. Lerv. Lerv. Ain't no one can hear you this far out. You're just putting yourself to more anguish and... Ah, hell. Let's get this over with. Wish you'd just make this easy, Lerv. Oh, God. His bone's sticking out. May? <gasps> what? Let I'm running. Take a breather and chill out. No need for all the fuss. Oh, oh. running Who is from Lerv? cultists. I don't. I don't know. Oh no! You got caught. The end of everything. The end. Oh no! Oh no! 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 This is the achievement I just got. I barely remember how to play this. I play this game in my head when I'm falling asleep. Like, go over lots of books I've read. Look at that smarty. I try to remember every place I've ever been in order. Hepbridge Farm remembers. Alright, well. Don't see anyone out there. So we still have no idea who this is. Sir, you say you saw a man outside? Sir, that's not illegal. <laughs> got brownies, got sodas. Want some brownies? I'm making brownies. And maybe lasagna. I found one in the freezer. Why all the food? Need to eat. Everyone needs to eat. Are you, like, scared and worried? Good dinner makes everyone feel better. Someone's got to take care of you. Thank you, Angus. You're extremely good. Ah, uh, no more than anyone else. So no word from her parents. Nope. Did you leave a message? That's bad, right? Yep. We're going to see the blank tones in a few days. Or we were, I don't know. I played this until I broke one of the sticks. That's harsh. Don't screw around. It was a stressful time, senior year. Sorry about your mom. I am so tired, I could be like curl up on their bed. There's like a whole living area underneath there. Wait, everybody shut up. I heard that too. Seriously, what? There's someone standing outside the door. What? Everybody be very quiet. This is doing me a heckin' spook. Right? Me too. <laughs> it was like so, like, 
kind of like theoretically creepy earlier and now it's like full on creepy. <laughs> Very much real creepy now. Yes. Mailboxes. Excuse me. I am not long for this world, but I, I got, feel like we're getting like really close here. Don't lay down right there, May. That's not great. The controller vibrations are intense during those scenes. She's gonna wake up in the church. Yep. God is here in this room. I believe that. Times like this, we can call out now that our cries are heard. Sniff. While we're here, maybe when someone would like to say something about May, that'd be nice. May's a good girl. She and I explored the stars, and she loved to hear about them. I've always oh, known May as the kid down merch, the street. Strutting my stuff like a fabulous bot in town. <clears throat> a little bit younger than me, but tough. Been through it in the past year, couple years. Addiction, jail, rehab, divorce. And I just think it's not fair that May, of all people, should have trouble. Where's the God in that? Where's the higher power? This is all a bunch of bullshit. Thank you, Selma. Anyone else? I'll say something. May Borowski's always been a menace, and I called the police on her more than once. Hope she wakes up and learns the lesson. That's all I gotta say. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, William. I'll speak up. May was a daughter to all of us on the block. Speak for yourself. Sometimes folks in the wrong place in the wrong time. I hope we find out what exactly happened to her. Oh, we know. Her friends told us. Yeah, they were out in the woods at night, down at the end of the Central Avenue. Someone was out there hunting illegally. And they got shot at. And May fell... And she must have fallen off a million things a million times. And all it takes is landing the wrong way one time. And, well, I hope she wakes up soon and tells us all about it. It's a janitor, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. What's happened to this one? Do we know you? Are you here to clean up? Nah, supposed to be fixing a door. Here? Nope. Okay, so she's gonna be fine. For today, leastways. Who are you? Janitor. <sighs> the house is gone, it's dead. Everything. We're gonna wake up in her bed. Erg. No. What? Why are you walking? Go back to bed. Fuck. Just dreaming, maybe. Can't go any faster. Holy shit, it's May. 
It's me. You came back to life. I don't think she was dead. Pizza party. <laughs> I love Greg. I'm feeling woozy. You should lay down. You can sleep in our bed. I feel weird about that. How about the couch? I, do I have to stop playing? No, the sound is good. Her mom said it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. She just like wandered out of her house. Yeah, all the way here. Jeez, like she didn't pass out somewhere there. Lucky she didn't pass out somewhere out there. Sure hope she's all right. Mm -hmm. Both of you shush. No. It's left noisy. So how well do you know this guy? We ordered pizza, what, twice a week? At least. From out by the highway now since pasta bill is cold. Closed. Thought you two were trying to save money. What? Don't police our lifestyle, B. Okay, well, just as long as we're sure the delivery guy is safe, I can spot him through the keyhole. If it's not him, we'll turn off the light and I guess hide here until we die. <laughs> All right, well, as long as, as long as there's a plan. Now I want pizza, too. Look who's awake. It's him, it's the pizza guy. Pizza's here. We called the cops. Your aunt and some guy fished you out of the woods. You were like in a coma. Did you die? Nah, I just took a very long nap. Nice. Uh, yeah, nice. Do I put it, do I put it back? Oh, no. Okay. I had this dream or like a vision or time travel. Don't know. I'm in like in and out of consciousness. Can you not eat? You should eat. I don't know if I can. <sighs> Sorry, mom. You scared us to death, honey. Sorry, mom. We'll come pick you up. No, it's cool. I'm just going to sleep here. B is there. B is here. Okay, I'll be back in the morning. Have B drive you home. I will. May? I know. Give us a call if you need to come home. I will. Love you, Mom. Love you, sweetie. Okay. You want a brownie? Nah, I can't really eat right now. Like, I'd puke, but there isn't anything in there. So I'd like to puke my actual guts out. You need your guts. Dude, wild week, huh? You could say that. When we get out of this, I don't know if we're getting out of this. Well, even if we don't, and we're ghosts, we should hang out more. Deal. What even was that? Werewolf Shred the Gnar 3. Wow, I played this at Casey's house like years ago. Played it yesterday at home. Here's B. They've got Wi Fi. Nice. It's like we're in a real place, at least we went in range. I don't even have a phone because of this place. It's the 1800s here. Hey, May? Yeah. I'm really glad you're not dead. Me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now what? We'll hit the sack.
No weirdos are following me around. All right. See ya. Do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? No, we weren't talking then. That'd be weird to bring, bring it up. I was playing this video game. You were like dating ghosts or something. And I was really into it. Played like 24 7 until this one afternoon and suddenly like something broke. It was just like pixels, the characters on the screen. I felt like I knew them. They weren't people anymore, they were just shapes. And their lines were just some things someone had written. They never existed, they never had feelings, they never would exist either. And it felt so sad, like I just lost these real people. And this whole thing we had, it was just me alone. And like that realization dumped out of the screen and into real life, went outside in the tree out front. I looked at it every day, it was like friend outside the window. Now it was just a thing. Just a thing that was there, growing and eating and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by, and he was just shapes, just like this moving bulk of stuff. And I cried, because nothing was there for me anymore. It was all just stuff in the universe, just dead. Wow, that's... And the next day was some softball game, and Andy was the pitcher when I was up, and he was just shapes too. And I was so scared and angry and just, I don't know, before I knew, I was on top of him, smashing his face with the bat, just shapes. Red shapes all over the grass. This oh is my very God, existential. May. Have you talked to anyone about this? After having they made me go to therapy with Dr. Hank. Oh God, he's the worst. He made me start a journal. Kind of just said it would be help to be able to get my thoughts down. Did it help? Kinda, sorta. But since this whole thing happened, when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes like back at the softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while, but I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside around people alone. There was a statue of, like, the founder or something. A really shitty statue, like rusty metal. And it was just shapes. And he was pointing down at me, and I was so scared. Didn't even leave my room. I either didn't eat or, or I ate entire pizzas at once. I downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time. And finally got up the courage to leave. And I came home where everything was fine. Where I knew everyone, and it wasn't just dead shapes. Jeez. I don't mean to be like, whatever, but it sounds like you're suffering some, from some serious stuff, and like, I can help you find some help for it. Dr. Hank already tried. I think Dr. Hank should stick to family medicine and dentistry and the half dozen other things he does, and maybe leave the mental health services to someone else. Like, there are such things as depression and anxiety, and like, I don't know, what you're going through, it exists. <laughs> Everything made sense for a couple days, and then all this. We're all scared, but we're going to make it. You should get some sleep. Please, no more dreams. Bye, guys. Love you. The hole in the center of everything. God damn it, May, don't go in the woods. <laughs> what are you? Are you actually a ghost or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk. Fine, let's do this. An arrow. <laughs> Boom. Get away from her, you piece of shit. You're outnumbered, asshole. What the hell? Oh, you shot me. <laughs> we cannot use both of our arms. I will personally disassemble you. Whoa, jeez, B.
<laughs> he, it, it's in my dreams. Hey, kiddo, we're out here, outside your head. Whatever's going on in there, I believe you, but I'm not going to let you wander off into the woods to die. Okay. We're all in this now, and even if we weren't, I'd still be out here with you. Me too, obviously. Clearly. Clearly we would all be. God, you're the closest thing I have to a sister. I don't want to be gone, so you're not dying. All right. That sounds okay by me. Well, he's wounded. Sounds like he went back up to the mine. Follow him, I guess. You all wait here. I'll go. No, you dumb bastard. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. If he's up in the mine, we might be able to corner him and tie him up or something. Can you walk me? I think so. Mm -hmm. Eat it, whatever. I have to go down in there. Just one guy, just one something. Bang, 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 bang. I finished the border of the puzzle. Nice. Just a party. Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. There's a lever. It's so dark, wow. Pull the lever, Kronk. Looks like he took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's going to hear us coming a mile away. Long lever. <laughs> Pull the lever. <laughs> sure we want to do this? Yeah, man, you sure? Guys, I don't know if you understand. He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. I don't know what's going to happen down there. Okay, we'll come out of this together. Generations. Are you our tour guide now? We have Possum Springs tourism pamphlets at the shop, and I get bored. I am of the concern. Yes. Well, here we are. It's not asthma, big guy. Here we go. There's like a pentagram in the background with the wood. Ah, oh, geez. What is this place? Looks like a church or something. And Slight like panic. junk. Oh god. Oh god. What is it? It's here. It's here. Oh god. What is it? I don't know, but it's here. It's through there. The, like, creeping walking pace is just fucking killing me. <laughs> it's like... And it's so dark now. More substantial panic. 
I know you're in here. Say something. Well, how about this? Take a couple more step forwards if you want to die. <laughs> Show yourself. There they are. They're right there. I'm gonna kill them. I oh God! You'll do no such thing. It's out of your hands now. He shot me. Then I'd say we're even. Little girl got shot at the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. You're apologizing? It was a bad call. I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay. You didn't actually hit me, so... Wait. Who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their damnedest to protect their own and their neighbors. Then why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's gonna kill you. All of you are part of this town. By family relation or just by being hard workers. Contributors. So we could just leave? Well, he brought you down from here for a reason. And he's not gonna let you leave until he's had his say. Well, he's already got an arrow through the shoulder. I don't think he's going to be having much say in whatever. Wait, so you think I'd... He kidnapped that kid at Harfest. He's been in my head somehow. I'm always tired. Constant headaches. He's been following me. Following all of us. Oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? I've seen this. Or I've... I've felt it. It was Ed Scudder and Jim Dorney who found it. 20 years back or so. After the West Mine closed out, past Brittle. Best Schumacher, not last supervisor, was out there when the company locked off the entrance, carved his initials in the date in the door. Then you got this mine, the old one. Not even a proper big mine. Big hole. Copper. Abandoned before any of us were born. Too close to water. And that water was poison. When the first settlers came out here, that old spring used to be right above where we're standing that water dried up people came for bootlegging practically built a new elevator got the main tunnel cleared never found no coal just dug deeper and deeper till Ed busts through that wall and finds this place and Jim walks right into that hole and never hits bottom Ed calls down to Jim Jim doesn't answer but someone else does I know you heard that voice in dreams and in what waking times what brought you down here what black goat not even black like the color black like the space between stars he's down there in that hole looking up at us right now he don't talk to you he sings <laughs> what the fuck why would you just do something a hole in the cave told you to do you gotta understand, in those days it was the end of the world, jobs gone, our kids were leaving, government didn't care, only wanted our votes, just putting in more regulations, sending our jobs overseas, spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants, while we worked ourselves to death. Ah, uh, here we go. God damn, I hate this crap. You old dipshits. <laughs> yeah, sure. We prayed and prayed at the church, but when we... When... Ed Scudder came back down here and listened. He got answers back. Oh god, I think I know. Yeah, he's already in there singing to you, right? <laughs> Ed explained it to a few folks and they don't believe it, but he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer? Ones he takes a shining to. It rubs off on you. You can do things. I never seen it, but they said Ed could walk through walls. Okay. After Ed talked us all into this. After that first time, after we picked one out, well, not only was the town holding stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger and money came too. Still a few of us left from back then. I am so spooked. Yeah. First one was Tom Turner who believed who believed you me was a bastard, just pure trash. We got him down here. And in the hole he went. The next week flowers blooming all over the hills. You throw them in the hole? They're feeding him. He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so he starts singing, and it's someone's turn to find someone. 
Was that what you were doing the other night? No. What happened the other night was a shame. One of our number broke the rules and had to pay up. That was a hard thing to do. I think I'm going to be sick. We never pick no one who's going to be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. You've been... Oh god, oh no. How many people have died down here? Oh, I'd say three dozen, give or take. Thirty-nine. Am I the only one keeping steady count? I do now. Early on, I think we all wanted to forget. I still got a feeling... Yeah, that dirtbag kid from the spring. C Casey, the Hartley kid? All he was going to contribute to society kept a bunch of, except a bunch of kids grown up with no dad. It's a rap sheet, rap sheet a mile long for whatever sad end he'd wind up at. We did him a favor. You killed Casey? We don't use that word. Hello? Hey there, no. it's Ada first too. Welcome to the stream. Enjoy you know your what time happened here. to his cousin? Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. That's where Casey was headed. You killed Casey. You want, don't want to act like we didn't do him and this whole town a favor? How's it uh, going? It's going good. Pretty climactic part of this game. Casey's been down here the whole time. His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. He was my friend. Natita first two gives Flair a high five. That's two times now. <sighs> Bolt sticking right out of your eye. Bang. Bang. Dangerous this far in the woods at night. Throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. Dang it. You're monsters. None of this none of this is happening. We're not monsters, we do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Possum Springs survives. His minds are gonna be humming again someday. Old Mills puff and smoke, you kids don't understand that. We lost what our world was built around. Used to be you provided for a family, built a house, now you're stocking shelves at the grocery store. Kids leave even more than they're staying, no opportunity here. A home become a tumbled up pile of junk. A job become a burned out brick. But we can change that. We can put this place back together where it won't be just shapes. Why are you telling us all this? Because we're getting old, and even with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood to carry this on when we're gone. Really? You're like pitching us on this? Were any of you even miners back in the day? Any of you hurting now financially? Or is this just some big costume party murder club for someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying? That don't matter. It does. This is real bad. This is insane. Why shouldn't we just call the cops and say, what, you saw some men you can't identify in an abandoned gate mine matter, behind a locked gate? In Ladies, an elevator that won't run, that you saw a Check hole? Check out Flair's blog by saying, show me your bot. No one is here to do this. You remember that flood a few years back? You remember the blizzard of 2010? That's what happens. Hepbridge Farm remembers. The jobs never came back. The kids never came back. Everything crumbles. Possum Springs bleeds to death. And soon we'll all be dead. And this town will just be fields. Yeah, I am. You know Play you have. Falling asleep. I'm like hanging by a thread. And I'm like, I know I'm so close to being done. So we can leave. No one's going to stop you understand that you don't know who we are out there but we know who you all are 
Ain't fair they get to leave and I probably got permanent damage. Shut it, Ide. You don't know a thing about what he wants, what he is. Ide, I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. <laughs> well, I can bullshit you, but the truth is I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever, it's a piece of shit anyway. can't move you guys. I'll carry you. That's fucked up. It's just horror. It's not a word you get used to get used too often. That's all I've got left. Like everything else in my head is gone. Let's get out of here fast. Put you down for a sec, okay? So, Casey. And for what? I think I get it. Okay, when you leave this, stream done, even if the game isn't over. I'm deciding for you. <laughs> it's gotta be almost over. more sense than I can make of it. They're sad. It's all really sad. You ready to go again, Angus? Yep. Sorry. Wait, everybody shut up. What? No, May. Oh, my God. <laughs> Good grief. Holy shit. May say something. <laughs> well, I'm awake now. Right? WTF. It's okay, I've got you. He's gone now. How are we gonna get out of here? Give her a minute. I feel air coming in from somewhere, so we're not gonna suffocate. Hey, I guess. I love you. Ah, Welcome back, May. You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered again. Which is weird. That was like the third time in two days. Third time's the charm. <laughs> Guys, the air's coming from back here. Alright, I'm up. You sure? Yeah, I think I can walk at least. It's boarded up a long time ago. Can we get through? Let's find out. Let's get out of here. The little pause. <laughs> sniff, sniff, and water. Dude, that's amazing. You can smell water. Hopefully it's not a river. Cave rivers are death traps. Mine river. We're in a mine. Right. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're going to die on one foot of water, right? <sighs> I know what you are now. After I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem, but that's not true. WTF, that scared me. Me too. I was angry because of something else, something I'd lost. Trying to so hard to sense not to be angry got me all defenseless and I'd lost more and more and more. 
That's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college on the bus, I had this dream, or maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree, finally blown off. I'm so scared all the time, and the fear hurts, feeling like everything is over. It was over long before I got here. So long hiding, trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave, when I have to let go, when this entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt bad. I want to lose, I want to get beaten up, I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again. And I want it to hurt, because that means it meant something. It means I'm something at least. Pretty amazing to be something at least. <laughs> Weird alien symbols. You know I can't understand you, right? Weird alien symbols. Oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end, but I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're going to kill me right here, then do it. If not... May. Dude, you okay? Whoa. You got all sleepwalky there for a second. You want me to carry you? No, I think I'm good. I'm just very, very tired. Hang here for a bit if you need to. We're safe. Uh-huh. Hey, there's light over here. Did you smell that? I bet he did. All right. <clears throat> What's this? Might be a vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way back when. Hello, we're down here. Don't ask us why, please. Could get lucky and someone's out here in the woods at night. I can try to make it out. Even less up for us starving to death. Ah, there we go. You got this, May. Do, 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 do. <sighs> the little hand. Letting it all hang out after a shower might just be the best thing ever. <laughs> yeah. Hey, May. Germ? Yeah. What are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. We were all stuck down there. You, you were at the bottom of the old well in my backyard? It's been a really bad night. Sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah. Can you go get it? <laughs> hey, May. Yeah? Was that Germ? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives here. In the woods. L-M-A-O. My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some sodas. You're the best, Germ. You need the sugar and the caffeine. Ugh. Anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yep. Germ, can you, like, I don't know, seal up this well? Germ is Zeus. I got dynamite. What? Yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small. Okay, that works. Um, okay. Bye, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Germ is good. Germ is a good man. It strikes me that we just murdered all of those dudes down there. How do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken. And we caused the cave-in. That was self-defense. I guess, but we did cause the death deaths of like a dozen guys. No, no, no. They're still all alive down there. Oh, God. Yeah. Jeez. Well, we're blameless. They attacked us. 
So we're worrying about, like, it's morally gray. We're not murderers. Like, if we had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would have. <laughs> I guess. Hepbridge Farm remembers. <laughs> what? They, like, killed people. They were trying to get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't I even guess. believe in hell, and I hope they go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think, at least. It's like that trolley thing. What trolley thing? I'll explain it if we keep walking. <laughs> Angus is awesome. That's awesome! Hey, guys. Uh, are you there? Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell just even happened. It's here for me to get it all out here, and I need to talk. Even if you jerks are off doing whatever. None of us asked for any of this, and it didn't happen to us because we're, like, special. You can work as hard as you want, but the universe is gonna keep doing what it does. I don't think any of us deserved all this. This is all stuff that started long before we were born. It's all like moving so fast and you dropped into it and you're just trying to grab onto something and all of you, all of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy to save me. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. LOL. <laughs> Don't know if I'm ever going to understand what all just happened. I hope it stopped. I just feel right now like all I want to do is wrap my arms around all of you. Not just because I love you, but to keep you all together with me. Wrap up into a ball and no one can hurt us. Sorry I'm rambling. Germ, buddy. Germ, you don't even know us. You don't even use Messenger. I guess I'm just typing at you wherever you're at. B, you're definitely something. I'm so sorry about all you've gone through. I don't even understand all of your problems, but if I could, I'd fix them. I'd fix all of it. And I'd buy the tools to do it from your store. Or, like, borrow them, at least. A better friend would buy, but I'm what you got. <laughs> and I'm glad. Yep, there it is. Now I'm just going to erase all that. Oh, shit. Haha, -ha, guys, I was kidding about a lot of that. I'm really tired. I don't know what I'm saying. Log off, me. Log off. Changing of the seasons. Shorter days, longer nights. Oh wow, let me see something. It should be bedtime now. Yeah. If I'm like just in an epilogue or something, I'm gonna finish it. But if there's still like more End of everything. That's fair. Yeah, this is like this is like the very end. There's messages. There's like Well, then I gotta stay up and stuff, finish it with you. Stuff to do for trophies and stuff if you if if but I didn't do any of that stuff. And then I just go to band practice, and that ends the game. So. Okay. Doop, 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 doop. Talk to the people. Hey, May, you okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me we were doing band practice, though. See you there. Hey, man, nice messages last night. I mean, like, really. You massive dork. Band practice today. So we can do something normal. Away message. It's gonna be alive this morning. That's all. Did we just become best New friends? New friend yep. joins the crew. Streams of joy dance in the light. Community grows. Thank you for the follow. Okay, go downstairs. Talk to mom like usual, most likely. Epilogue. Yeah. 
hopefully the bad practice doesn't make me play a song and just like fuck it up the whole time while it's like ending the game. <laughs> Honey, is that you? I'm back in the kitchen if you want to talk. Okay, come on, mom. Let's get this show on the road. Hi, sweetie. Hey, mom. How are you feeling? Good enough to jump up here. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Excuse me. I, you're an adult and you can do whatever you want, but you do live here and you are still my baby. Aw, oh, Mom. We need to come up with some ground rules just because, honey, you could have died the other night and then you just left to hang out with your friends. Sweetie, what's going on with you? I've had a really tough year, Mom. You've had a tough week. We all have. What happened at school? I don't care what it is, just please tell me. Are you working today? No, me and your father both took the day off. I'll be around tonight. We can talk about it then. Sure. We can make breakfast for dinner like we used to. Dad can flip the pancakes in the air. Alright. Can you please stay in town close? I think they're getting some of the longest night decorations out. Calling for some snow, too. That went fast. What did? The fall? Always does. Well, I'm off. Hey, Dad. No work today. I told Bob to shove it. Really? <laughs> no. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. I've mined, I've made glass, I've done a heap of other stuff. But this place, they just don't respect you for working. Job's supposed to pay enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. Boss is supposed to respect you. Work's supposed to be able to talk. Worker's supposed to be able to have a life. Worker's supposed to be able to live. Your mom always had to work, but I wanted to give you and her your time. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance and hold on to the house and try to, at least. Is there anything you can do? I mean, we do need a union. It's just easier to say than it is to get it done. But here, I got something for you. Got it out of the basement. How'd you get in the basement? Door in the crawl space? That's spooky. So what I got is a tooth. Would you rather work an overtime shift with your annoying boss or spend full day with your mother-in-law? <laughs> Do you know what this tooth is? No. Really? You sure? Yeah, Granddad must have had it from the old days. Hey there, Alfu Tate. Hope Look, you're having a just bad pulled day it out of his skull yesterday. You show that to boss and tell him to eat shit. <laughs> I'll just keep it with me. Sure thing. May? You come Fun down fact. and pick I've it with us if we walk out. Law. I will breathe fire, Dad. Love you, kitten. Be back later, Dad. The tooth. I got an achievement for the tooth. Alright. What are you doing here? I'm working, mate. Sure. What's wrong? I don't have a monitor in law. I do, she's great. So that one. You haven't seen. Never mind. Go to whatever it is you do. Spit it out already. Be careful. Just be careful. Well, geez, now I never considered that. Mate. Okay, thanks. Bye. After the whole, like, head injury thing? Yeah, I'm alright. Headache is all. Got some migraine meds if you need it. Nah, it's not a migraine. Most things make me have to pee. It's the caffeine. If you ever take pills that make you pee, it's the caffeine. I didn't know that. Used to work at the pharmacy. Alright. Well, if I ever have a headache or I need to pee, I'll come by. <laughs> Anytime, neighbor. What, no poem? Alright, and there's Snowflake. Alfie Tate rolled a one. Rolling A1 is like trying to charm a dragon with a squeaky toy. Better luck next time, adventurer.
We'll just close all the roads. Your IDs are always the most important. Go to hell, Colleen. Don't go against DOT, you can go right ahead. We've got agreements with the county and the state. Colleen's right on this one, too. If you two agree so much, why don't you just get married already? Ugh. I'd rather die. I'd rather break my own femurs with a cinder block. Alright, well now that's settled. What are we doing about the road? Alright. There's a raccoon just went past there, so I'm gonna split part time. How do they not have the hours? It's a huge store. How do they not have the hours? It's all hooked up to some kind of mainframe or something. It spits out the optimum schedule for all the employees. Manage can't do much about it. The computer don't play favorites. Yeah, I guess you can't argue with a computer. I'm not Nancy, sure I'm gonna hell. make it. Nah, she did laugh though. I laughed too. We're still gonna do that. These people are all just talking. I gotta get to the store. I know, it's like everybody in town wants to talk. Hey, it's you. Yep, yep, for now at least. Something big did happen. I feel like I should have to work up today and I've learned something, but I don't know if I learned anything really. Well, in my experience, the big things don't teach you anything, but they make you something. Sometimes you gotta wait a while to see what come of it. There's that raccoon again. Smelter's game tonight. See you around. Alright. Come on. Excuse me. Who's a frog guy? Whatever. Never seen you around. Likes the cold brisk. Okay. It's cold, maybe too cold. All right. I'm from Canada, I always apologize. Alright. Come on. Video, no, I want... Holy crap! Ah, uh, taco place. This is the best thing that's happened to the town since... They got rid of all the snakes in the diner. They're long gone now. God, life moves on, huh? No. We gotta get the band practice. I'm going to eat the shit out of some tacos. Look who's alive and well. Is that a surprise? Nah, just seems like relevant. Look who's alive and well to you too. You want to get out of here? Do band practice? Yeah. I think I probably will play this again and farm some achievements, but probably not on stream. Such a good game. God, this door just not like to open. Where's Greg? Oh yeah, he had to spring Angus from work. What does that mean? Zero clue. I'm a little unclear on how both of them still have jobs since they seem to just up and leave work early a lot. I think they just plain need each other. Greg more than Angus, I think. I don't think Angus would agree. That's because it wouldn't occur to Angus to think otherwise. Greg's a nice person. Oh yeah, he definitely is. But he's also bratty and irresponsible and has like zero attention span. Greg needs a parent as much as he needs a boyfriend. And he's really lucky Angus is a little bit of both. Angus thinks Greg, like, saved him. Listen, I'm not saying he didn't. 
he thinks so. Angus might also just be attracted to really sincere guys in leather jackets who carry knives. I mean, if I met the right guy, those would all be pussies. Geez, you have thought this out. Before you came back, they were the only people I hung out with most of the time. I had a lot of time to study. So, like, how are you? Convinced myself I was fine or completely shattered, just like stuck in neutral. Not great. I had a dream the world was ending. Might be. Do you think we're safe? No idea. Great feeling. Yep. I'm a little confused about what even happened last night. Well, there's apparently a death cult of dads, or was. Who knows if that was all of them. Can't believe they even existed. Or exist. Probably take them a few days to die. Yeah, I don't know. Kind of understand them in a weird way. It's like a porch light that's on, and there are all these bugs around it, and then the light goes out, and there's a hole where the light was. It's like what happened to me way back, like I was telling you about on the couch last night. Holy crap, that was last night. Seems like two lifetimes ago. Who comes up with these fucking stories? A failed state? Getting pretty close. Weird question. How do you, like, get up every day and go open the store and keep doing it? I don't really have a choice, do I? I mean, you definitely do. You don't give yourself enough credit. You keep all this running because you care. I guess. Caring doesn't always seem to be voluntary. Caring can be really terrifying. I feel like it's always Someone there with a very active imagination. following me can't not give a shit. I mean, I do the store and our bills at home, stuff with the Chamber of Commerce, I'm doing free study courses online, and I'm a member of the Young Socialists. I sleep a lot and sometimes eat pizza. <laughs> to each according to their ability. Well, on the right side, you got me? We can fix the world together. Yep, fix it right up. Old men killing the young and the poors to get back some past that barely existed. Same old, same old. They're like ghosts at some old mansion killing the new owners. Makes you want to either give up or try harder. Or get really upset and take a nap. Yeah, naps fix everything. Or like drop an elevator on them. That works too, I guess. So, have you had any new uh, rat problems? I heard there were some rats around town. Makes me happy for some reason. Well, there's no such thing as a small rat problem. There's just going to be more of them. Hope springs, rats multiply. Cute. We literally sell rat poison. They're going down. We'll see. Hey, speaking of nothing, how good is your car? Good how? Like, can it drive real far? May, do you know anything about... Why? We should take, like, a road trip out west. It gets all flat. We can go where it's really flat, and they sell barbecue. I think barbecue is south. It's everywhere, BBQ. All different kinds. Dry, wet, ultra. Talk about it next year. If we're trapped here together, we might as well be trapped out there together. I mean, if we're not dead by then, LOL. You have a way of making Doom sound like a lot of fun, May. It's actually kind of a gift. God damn this door. Hey, guys. Sup, nerds? It is you who are the nerds. What? Jeez, we've never been so insulted. Take it right back, dork. Fat chance. Hey, Greg. So, I didn't really know Casey. Yeah. I just want to say I'm really sorry. Yeah, thanks. Casey was a good one. Casey was good. Should we, like, tell his parents? What do we tell them? <laughs> I don't know. Can we, like, make up something that sounds real? Oh, what? The truth isn't real enough? No, you're right. The truth is insane. <laughs> so, like, what do we do about Casey? No, like, in general. Can we think about this tomorrow? Can we just play a song and get pizza? I don't think song and pizza is an answer, really. I don't know how today can possibly feel normal. When I was in that... When I was down there last night, I, like, I made the decision not to die. Or at least not to die without a fight. And the thing down there told me nothing would save me forever. Wait, it was like talking to you? 
It's been talking to me for a long time. I just didn't know what it was. But anyway, like nothing is going to save us forever. But a lot of things can save us today. That's really pretty, me. Haha, thanks. I totally made it up, like right on the spot last night. You're good with the doom. Doom, doom, doom. So anyway, song and pizza. We earned it by still being alive for another day. Decent, decent, decent. Decent. Good grief. What a game. I definitely fell asleep a couple times there. Very briefly. <laughs> well, all right then. Pretty uh, tricky. Yeah. What a what a fucking wild ride. Oh, I know. I watched you do it. There's more than one clip of me falling asleep on stream. Like just like mm. <laughs> Oh boy, okay. Let's find a raid target right quick and then go to sleep proper. I can't fall asleep if there's a screen on. I can, I just like, I just don't sleep. I, I wait until I'm falling asleep and then I go to bed. That's just how it works. <laughs> Sometimes a little bit after. I also have to take the dog out, and that's going to wake me up a bit. Yeah. I'm just going to raid uh, Doggo, so I don't have to, like, talk to people. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for being here. I don't know. So it's going to be Hunt for, like, a week because it drops. And then after that, I'll have a new game. I think it's going to be Firewatch. I might be able to do that in one stream, but we'll see. Hell yeah, hunt it up. But uh, drops start on Friday for hunt, so it's going to be drops from Friday to Friday. So that Friday stream and then Sunday, Monday, and Friday are all will all be hunt. All right, let's do it. I'm clicking the button as soon as I can because it's bedtime. Thank y'all for being here. Super good game. I'm glad I... I'm glad everybody voted for it. I was really surprised by that. All right, let's go. See you later.